this is 11 o'clock in the night. Eh? Go straight to the point now. Me, I want to go and sleep. Oh. All right. I don't like this, your idea of taking Sandra to serve drinks in your restaurant. The girl should be allowed to stay in the house and study for her jam. I want you to employ more people. Stop taking Sandra to your shop. And then, you want me to employ more people? Will you pay those people? Eh? Will you pay them? Why are you always looking for trouble, Anen? Why? I don't want to talk, oh. I don't want to say anything because very soon you, you will run to your brother and, and tell him that Madam Gold is insulting you. I, 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 I do my own. I don't care how you do it. Sandra is my only daughter and I don't want you to take her to your shop. I know how men who come to your shop deal with girls in that place. And I don't want such a thing happening to my daughter because I don't want her to be distracted from my exam. Hey, hey, hey! I am surprised though. Yeah. yeah! Men who sit at a place and achieve nothing, they don't give orders. So you don't sit back in this house and pass orders to me, Madam Gold. Happening lady. Lady of the moment. Why are you aga aga? Millennium woman. Eh? You now sit back and pass orders. Honey. <laughs> See, men who have achieved nothing don't pass orders. Ndi no fuebe. Eh? Ndi ebano. They can be there for 100 years for all I care. They don't move. You are bundi na aga aga, moving people. Now listen to me. If it is because of that one bottle of beer you come to drink in my restaurant, don't come again, no. Just stay here. I'll make sure I feed you. You are walking out on me. Huh? You realize that I was the one who opened that restaurant for you. What did you just say? You opened restaurant for me. You are Nene. Look at you. What you opened for me was a kiosk where I was selling my food. What I have now is a restaurant for happening, happening people. Eh? I don't want you to open this mouth again and say you opened any restaurant for me. The kiosk you opened for me is dead and gone. Forgotten. Nene. Nene that open restaurant for me. I hope you will not do it on this super of red. It's so cool. Go! You come back here! Why? Why? Why can't you for once talk like, for like, 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 like a gentleman? Why? What is the matter with you? Were you not the one I told not to take Sandra to your shop anymore? Huh? I need Sandra in that my, my, my restaurant. I need her. Eh? Why, why won't you let me have peace in this house for once? Why? Eh? Now tell me. Why do you want her to stay at home? You want her to sit in a place and grow overweight, redundant, unproductive. Is that what you want? Tell me, give me one reason why you want her to stay at home. Am I the one you are talking to? What is the meaning of that? Why would I talk to you? Listen to me, Anne. Anne, listen and listen carefully. There's only one source of finance in this house. And that source is my restaurant. Hmm? That restaurant, I, from that restaurant, I feed everybody in this house, including you. So, you don't even have any right to ask me how I run that restaurant. You don't have the right. No, let's go. Hey, look, Sandra, I forbid you. You forbid my daughter. You forbid her. Who are you to forbid her? Who are you, Anna? Eh? Look at you. You forbid my daughter to just sit down in a place and then all 
all the retired people uh, 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 when they were away, they have all fixed themselves up somewhere, doing lucrative business, making plenty of money. All you do is just sit down and poke your nose into every matter that does not concern you. Eh? Do you know the plans I have for my daughter? Do you know? I warned you, Anne. I warned you when you were wearing those awkward colored coats to join the moving people, the happening people, millennial people. You refused. Now, what have you gained? Open your mouth and tell the world what you have gained, Anne. What have you gained? You were doing. Uh, uh, railway work as if it was your father's work. What have you gained? Ah, ne, ne. All your juniors in the railway, the railway, they are all riding big, brand new cars. See a rubber. Brand new. Oh, go, come on. Are you aware that you are talking to your husband? Hey, auto a bomb. Auto on the bomb. Husband. <laughs> Anne. You call yourself husband, eh? You look yourself in the mirror and call yourself husband. Okay. Is it because you are the head of the railway band that you, you call yourself also husband? No. There's a difference between husband and headband. Don't call yourself husband because there are different kinds of band. There are headbands. Husbands, blue band, yellow band, white band, rubber band, 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 band. So don't mistake the band though. <laughs> Anane, don't just make me angry. Oh. Don't just make me angry, Anane. No, today is Monday. What's going on? Do whatever you do. Don't take this guy to your shop. He's going to be in this house and study for her examination. Hey, who want to pay for money? I don't have no money. Money for her examination. Hey, as if you, you know how much I pay for her school fees. Can you even pay it? Do you know how much her school fees is? You are sampling yourself as a father. Do you know the size of clothes she Do you know whether it is size 12, size 14, or size 18? Do you know? Even her body cream. Do you know the name of her body cream? Can you buy it? You think it's, it's that pomade you used to buy for me in those days? What I used to buy for you. <laughs> so if I give it to you now, you rub it. If you are still rubbing that pomade, will your body be like this? You think to realize that things have changed. Yeah, have and you can even see it with your eyes. Things have changed. Look at me. I can go. I don't know if we're bad. I could if we're killing mom. Eh? Go and sit down. Do you look better? Do you not? Yeah. Mommy, I do not like the way you're talking to my father. It's not fair. Will you shut up, your mom? Shut up! What do you know? Now listen to me. There's only one person to take orders from in this house, and that is me, Madam Gold of Africa. And I will take you to where you never ever thought in your mind that you will get to. If you take orders from anybody else, I'll sanction you. Let's go. You know they hear anything anybody wants Say you know if you there with anybody when no they pay You know send anybody when no one make you jolly Or any more will come here and you to ring Changing husband like rag, 
Because she has not been able to find the right man. I don't understand it. No, I don't. Because just last Christmas, she married a man living in Mumbai. And that's her fit husband. Fit. What is she doing? Is she making up a, a husband chat? Now she's telling people that uh, the man is a bookworm. And she's warming up to marry another. I mean, is it, is it not madness? Eh? You can see it as madness, but me, I'm not seeing things like that. Too. I just think the girl is uh, doing what I call um, test and see. That's what she's trying to conduct. The two year. The two year, they even have a man. Mama, go, please. <laughs> Don't be annoying, though. Will she test all the men in this country <laughs> because she decides who will be her husband? That is where I blame her mother. She did not teach her work. That is true. You know what? I am going to show something to my daughter's husband. Hey! The man that will marry my daughter must be one in town. Sandy. <laughs> that is it. One marriage. And we'll be happy forever. So, Mama, you, you said that you will be the one to find out. <laughs> Before I go, look, Mama, go decides whatever happens here. Why do you think she's called the Millennium Lady? Eh? She will not mind that. <laughs> hey. hey. You think I will? Tina, I want you to commit the fallacy of her uh, No way. All the men, she's just. All the men are just using her, sampling her, sampling her, sampling her. No way. My daughter will marry only one man. The question begging for an answer is very simple. How do you see this right man? <laughs> now I know that you are not the happening woman I thought you are. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised though. Mm -hmm. Well, the the real man will not come from Enugu or Maya. Because those people, they, all they like to do is talk grammar, big, big grammar. She <laughs> went rightly said, they are book one. That is true. Mm. Then, the right man will never, never come from Onisha. You know why? Mm. Onisha men like food too much. <laughs> Olidi, I'm going to do it. Eh? They like to eat too much and then their tummy will grow. <laughs> Abba, Abba. Before you know it, they have turned their wives into cook. <laughs> you see, all this. You see, you see, you see, Kudu, Mkwabi, Odeko, vegetable fish, vegetable loboroko, vegetable chicken, vegetable. <laughs> Even vegetable udeli. <laughs> <laughs> originated from Onisha. They eat too much. They just eat and they'll be growing fat. That's not good enough. Also, the right like man will not come from Abba. Eh? Abba baby. You know what they call them? Abba Nahana. <laughs> looky, looky. <laughs> they can look. That's why they call them Abba Nanya. Hey, I said, I want to I If I buy her one more bottle and something happens, don't blame you. 
You know I am at home with ladies, <laughs> not girls. Oh no, please, oh, please, a oh, point of correction. I am not a sergeant dress looking for uh, attention, please. I am not. And I am not an abandoned big cop, please. You know when you come on me, you can't let you. No, I think you. But, listen, I don't like that thing you just said. But how, how can you say it's as if you are going to start having problems with Mameko? I don't like it. You know now, how would I be looking at uh, Mameko when I have <laughs> unlimited access towards the millennial lady? <laughs> you know now, I cannot. It is those stupid things that drop from my useless mouth. Be careful what drops from this your useless mouth. I will. <laughs> I will. You know now, I will. I will be very... Okay, money. <laughs> hey. You know, eh, today, it was as if the government gave order that people should not come on the street again. I did not make good money. Bring all of I'm bringing all <laughs> Today is just like Sunday. People refuse to come on the ah, No passenger. Give me, give me. Bring, me. bring oh. all. You have collected all the money now. Next time, if you don't bring good money, I won't be playing with you. Hey, all right, now. You know I like playing with you. <laughs> Mama, please, now, can you give me a little money? So that I can put some fuel in the bus and continue my sufferings. <laughs> hmm? Money is not for me, I love. What is this one buy for me now? <laughs> the millennial lady! <laughs> Mama God! God will bless you! Five hundred Hi! This woman. If my motor should knock engine now, what will I use to repair it? Every day I will come here and give account to this woman, my own boss. Hey, God. Anyway, <laughs> since you will still continue to be giving me, <laughs> I will be banking in the Azure Bank. <laughs> God, you know now. <laughs> Let me manage this one and see if I can run the night and get some little more money and put it in my pocket. Mama, good! When I was your age, I was very vibrant. Ah! Up to now, I'm surprised as to how your father was able to capture a vibrant girl like me. Yeah? Because as an ordinary railway worker, ah, it was not possible that he could capture a vibrant girl like me. <laughs> I, I'm still thinking that he, he, he used some charms on me. Mommy, how could you say such a thing like that? Look at the way you just diverted from the topic we were discussing to another thing. Huh? You and every other person know that my father does not use charm. Did you say discussion? Mm -hmm. No. I am not discussing with you. You are just my daughter. And I cannot be discussing with my daughter. How can I? What do you mean by that? It's not that the and our daughter are our best friends. Tell me every time. That's Chi and Tichiwe. Me. I have to give orders. Order. And as my daughter, you must follow my orders to the letter without any questions. Mm, like telling me to get married to. Exactly. That is it. That is the main point. You know, those news readers, they will say, and here are the main points again. So that is my main point. <laughs> After all, what do you know about men? Eh? And you know, I wouldn't want you to make mis mistakes. Stupid little, little mistakes like your father. I don't need to know anything about men, no. In fact, I don't even need to know everything about men. The most important thing is that I know the kind of man I want to get married to. Why don't you leave me alone so I could have the liberty of choosing that, that kind of man I want? After I didn't choose you, you didn't choose my father for you. Okay, is that what you are planning? If that is what you are planning, then you are planning vanity. Because even the Bible says, Vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. 
look at you. You think I will sit down and watch you make the stupid mistake that Chi Wendo has been making? <laughs> Chi Wendo, within four years, she has married six husbands. <laughs> I don't like just tell me, look, 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 look. Eh? just show me the ways that you used to withstand all those stupid idiots. Hey, Mama, I don't like <laughs> this thing you're doing. Eh? I don't like this thing you're doing. Every time you like to compare me and Chuan Du together, compare me and Chuan Du together. Eh? Every time, Chuan Du is Chuan Du, Sandra is Sandra. God has created us differently, and we are different. We can never be the same. It is because it is like you that. are Sandra, and she's Chuan Du. That is why I don't want you to make the mistakes she made. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you are free to speak all the grammar. After all, I saw you through grammar school. So if you speak all the grammar in the whole world, it is to my own credit. Hmm? One thing I want to sink into your medulla oblongata is that it is my duty to choose the right man for you. And who is the wrong one? Me or me, your mother. Let it get into your head. I would not accept it though. I would not accept it. Did they, my, did they, did they force, force my father on you? Okay. Then be prepared to stay here forever with me. I will stay instead. Let me stay alone. Uh -huh. Then you have your own portion. And then you give account to me. Actually, I'm not going to be nice though. Let it be nice though. Let it be nice Let it be nice for you to get married to a man like I'm, I'm married to your father. <laughs> That glitters is not gold. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money, go to Bunke Gebo. All oh, that glitters is not Where is your mother? She asked me to come and prepare dinner for you. She's preparing to attend the meeting. Sit down. <laughs> I am still regretting opening that shop. I ordered you to stop accompanying your mother to that place. My reason is your education. You just have got to work out how to pass your job because your brother will be the last person on earth to buy admission for you. You just have to work it out yourself. Today, I'm preparing for my exams. I'm really hard. Thank you. Where are you reading? for your exams. From that place where all categories of men gather every day, is that where you are risen for your exams? And it's not my fault. Mama is making everything really difficult for me. Sandra, you are not supposed to be going to that place to listen to rubbish. I've got to know how you interact with your mother. Left to her, she will do anything for money. trying to avoid and if you if you have faith in me if you believe in me I promise you I will not let enough of that happen please all right you better you go and cook A friend of mine told me that he needs a wife. He confided in me today. <laughs> Does your friend want to marry me? What for? Is he insane? Who in this town does not know that I am the one who is in charge? Eh? Mba no. Hey, my millennial lady, how can you suggest such a thing? I was only joking. I just wanted to know what your reaction was. No, I don't like that joke at all. <laughs> Why are you angry? <laughs> buy me one more big bottle you of know, salt. Nah. <laughs> if it is one bottle of salt, I'll buy it for you. Buy Even it. two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the money I, pay, I waste on you is not a waste. <laughs> yes, any money I waste on you is not a waste. <laughs> you waste money on me. No, no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> if I just put tire on the road now, money will start flowing. <laughs> Tido! Yeah. Hey, that is it! <laughs> so, Tido! That is it! <laughs> it is you 
love, it's love, it's love. It's love. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend told me that he meets a very charming girl. Mm. And I was thinking of telling you to release your daughter to him. What is it? Tell your friend that my daughter is not available. You are joking. Uh, why? But you have not seen him. I don't need to see him. But I'm seeing you. So I don't want your friend to come. Tell him that my daughter is not available. Nico, go and look somewhere else. What do you even take me for? Eh? An expired piece of dead wood or what? Do you mean that you cannot even allow me to finish before you start attacking me? Eh? Okay, tell me. What type of husband do you want for this, your daughter? <laughs> See, the man must be working in an oil company. He will have money. Not the kind of money that you have today. Before you think of what you are going to do with the money, it's finished. That's the kind of those who know grammar. Friend does not fit at all at all. Don't but you have not seen my friend. I don't need to see your friend. I am seeing you, Jade. And your friend will not be anything different from you. Huh? I don't want. I don't want. But you must first see my friend. When you see him, then you can now judge. If you are okay with the, your drink. In fact, it's late. I want to lock up. Finish your drink and go pick. I want to go. lady, you get annoyed so easily. Don't I don't, I don't I, please, I want to close. I want to close. Okay. Let me just take one more bottle. Millennial lady, one want, in a gaga. Anyway, no. money, then I dare you. They call one day. Time. This money go put you for a while. Why are you behaving as if I am a busybody? Tell me, why are you being unnecessary too silly with the matter that is very simple? Yes. Simple? Sure. You call it simple? What is there to call it? Oh, you are not even bothered about how I feel? Jesus Christ. Why are you getting me all wrong? Am I an idiot? Let me tell you, baby. You know I consider others in everything I do. And we are talking about my mother. My mother that is giving my dad hell. I want to go and get her to be with us here. That is the point. Your mother has a way of making this life kind of hell for me. Don't you get it? The last time she visited, she almost sent me to an early grave. All I'm saying is, why don't you ask your father to come instead of your mother? At least the bottom line is separating them. My father is a member of the King's Cabinet, and they meet every day. And he is the chairman of the committee that is building the Civic Center, you know that? So there's no way you expect him to come here and be with us. It's not possible. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, there's no problem. But if your mother is coming to this house, then I will go to Asaba and stay with your father. That is my decision, and it is final. <laughs> Continue to stay here in this house if your mother comes here. I can't do it. I can't. You will go to Asaba and stay with my dad. Tony, it's not better you come out straight. Tell me you want to go and start dating my dad. Yeah, you have me. It's better you make it like that. Thank you in the name of God Almighty. Please. I'm not ready for it. Please. I beg you.
<laughs> Garnished food. <laughs> no. As the madness spirit to the extent of not allowing me to enjoy my food in this. Huh? See, I I only wanted to eat this food as if you paid for it. Not as if you bought it, because you didn't pay for it. <laughs> Do you realize that I'm your husband? And that I opened that restaurant for you. And if you are not careful, I might be forced to close it. <laughs> I said this thing with money, I think. You didn't really get it. You said what? Did I commit an offense by marrying you? Of course you did. Oh, well, I don't know. You did wrong by marrying me because you were not qualified to marry me. Get it into your head. Are you, are you insane? Hi. Hey. Anyway, just look at me. Millennium Lady of Africa can never be insane. Okay? I cannot be insane. Look at it now. Your life has changed. Eh? You now sit on beautiful opposite. Eat well garnished food. Walk on ties in everywhere. Nice. Nice! I didn't do much. I am on the move. Eh? What you should be doing is you come every day and say thank you. Thank ma. I said thank you to you. Of course, yes. So you are now the owner of this house. Eh? What no, no, no. So you are the owner of this house. What are you thinking? That you are still the owner of this house. <laughs> the table has turned to my side. Well, I agree that uh, you are the one that the former awkward shaped house. But that house has destroyed. The millennium lady of Africa renovated it, gave it beautiful shape and meaning. That is why you're enjoying it now. Yeah? Anytime you finish eating, you should run to wherever I am. Bow down and say, thank <laughs> Yes, I go. Where are you going? Come and finish your food though. I didn't say you shouldn't eat your food though. I was only trying to say that you should eat like somebody who is begging. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> you think it was those days we are doing shakara with your old 504. <laughs> Very soon, the moving lady will bring in the Akas. Anywhere money then I tell you they go one day this money go to true Millennial lady one in a gaga Anywhere money then I tell you they go one day this money go to true for a hollow You know they hear anything anybody wants say you know be there with you. anybody when no they pay You know send anybody when I want make you jolly Or any more will come near you to read if you want in a gaga, when you want my penny in a name, get your money. Kakulitaba, get your kasiba, gang mulitaba, all that glitter has is not gold. Anything that goes up, must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money, go to boom, you get all that glitter has is not gold. Anything that goes up, must surely come down. Be careful before you make no follow money go to book the devil Millennial lady one in a gaga Anywhere money What is it now? Look, you have injured me Is that the way you want to be sweeping when you get married? What is wrong with the way I'm sweeping? Yes, yes. Look at the portion I saw, is it clean? There's everything wrong with you Both you and your portion See A woman should be sending signals Whenever she's bending down to sweep What do you mean, don't understand what I mean? Eh? No, no. See, a woman that wants to be getting things from her husband all the time must learn how to be sending signals all the time. If you don't do it, your husband will be getting the external signal and that is not good for you. See, the best way, the most natural way to get external signal is through sweet people. That is the pattern of Nina Gaga. Eh? 
We are not stagnant people. Eh? Ni ne tu kufu ebe ekele mo. We are the moving people. I don't want you to commit the fallacy of chimwendo here. That will not work. That's true. What are you teaching? I am teaching her the sense that my mother refused to teach me. And that was why you were able to hijack me and destroy me. What type of sense is that? Human or animal sense? Yeah. And then, go and brush your teeth this morning because I don't have your time. So, if you want to be, fine. If you want to be amongst those who are moving, do what I have just taught you. Inano? Send signals, no words. You want to make me angry? I hope you don't, I hope you don't want to make me angry. Will you? Frank, listening to your mother is the surest way to destroy yourself. Heaven did not bless me with a good wife. And automatically, you are not blessed with a good mother. Do you hear me? Go and get me my little. The girl I am talking about is the best in this Asaba. I know this time better than you. Eh? Forget that you have been traveling to China, Panya, Equatorial Guinea. And when you come, you stay in a big hotel like this, supposing. Look, as far as we are here, I am bigger than you. I am bigger than you. This woman I'm talking about is jovial. Very, very jovial. Once you touch her, <laughs> I have a good understanding of her. <laughs> Chief, 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 I don't understand. You have been saying so much about the woman and her daughter. What about the man? I mean, what about the husband? Ah! Bessie, ah! I said, ah! Who is the husband? We are talking about the living thing. You are talking about the dead animal. Look, let me tell you. I have stayed in this town long enough to know who has power and who does not have power. That woman we are talking about, <laughs> she has her family like this. Calm. Anything she says goes. But she, the way I come from, that is not the standard. The man is always Not can you stop this here, where I come from, where I come from? What of where I came from? Huh? We are talking about here, Benson. We are talking about here. Once you are in Rome, you behave like the Romans. Huh? If you are in China, you behave like the Chinese. If you are in Ninja, bros, behave like Ninja people. That woman, I'm telling you, huh? she has caged her family. Whatever she says, nobody says no. Why don't we talk to the girl? Huh? You know if it's power of the tongue, I have it. Okay, take for example. We might talk to the mother and the mother says no. And I talk to the girl and she says yes. Da, da, who is the girl? I said, who is the girl? The mother you are talking about is a political animal. She has got in her family, bam. Nobody disagrees with what she says, oh. Once you get her on your side, you have gotten everybody. <laughs> the more you live, the more you see. <laughs> I know you now. Eh? Let's get them and you show them America wonder. You know you're a guy, man. <laughs> and this is the time to use your talent very well. <laughs> use your talent, though! <laughs> Chidi, eh? let me tell you something. If that is the only problem we have, then we don't have a problem. Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Very rich man. Because you don't allow me to land. I was trying to tell you. I was trying to tell you. I like this style of landing. <laughs> you have finally landed. And the style of land is wonderful. It's powerful. I know. Chai. See, I'm happy you like the kids. Hmm. <laughs> I'm in love with them. Yes. I hear you have the final say. I don't just have the final say. Okay. 
I say everything that needs to be said. Mm. Nobody else can say anything. I say everything. I told you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Many more will come your way. <laughs> if only you allow me to marry your daughter. But you're funny already. I told you. I told you. <laughs> hey, hey. What I is mean. there left? You're funny already. Hey, A man who can go out of his way to bring this big screen television, oh. satellite dish, and everything I need for this place without being told. He has seen that I have only this for Facility. <laughs> and then he just used his sense. You are the kind of man I want. For my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even the original. Yeah, yeah. As you are looking at this TV, it has all the things TV should have. A mother. It has MTV base. Eh? It has power. It has even Panasonic inside of it. <laughs> There's over 38 stations loaded inside the TV. I know you said it from abroad. Once you plug it, it will start working. I'm going to see the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank Wonderful. Yeah. You see, this man sitting before you is Agui International. Yes. <laughs> I am a rich man. Agui. I'm an importer and exporter. I have a lot of shops in main markets. Yeah? Hey. As a matter of fact, as you're looking at me, I am very solid. <laughs> even me, even me. I am equally solid. <laughs> you don't know. If not because of uh, one beautiful girl lured me. And I stole my master's money. <laughs> he knows, he knows, he knows. That was when I was serving with him. Oh. And my master sacked me without ten cover, without settling me. Oh. I would have been solidier than him. Ask, go and ask question. So you were stealing? Uh, no, no, nah, you know. I'm just telling you the reason why I don't like all these small, small girls. These she she girls, I don't like them. That's why I come here now. Nah. You know you are the specimen now. <laughs> you know, and I am happy. I am very happy yeah, that you like our gift. <laughs> I don't just like them. I'm in love with them. Chai, your friend needs to tell me you have a car. <laughs> I, I always tell you, but you don't want to listen to me. You don't want to listen to me. I am happy now that finally you have started doing what I always want you to do. Listening to people. <laughs> I am very, very happy. In fact, I am excited. <laughs> I said it, I told you. Wise people should know from this that whether they are still potential in laws or confirmed in laws, they should shower their in laws with gifts. Like this. <laughs> I told you. I told you. This kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. Smile me with it. Yes, the millennium woman. <laughs> Why in oh. <laughs> You say you're agreeing. 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 International. 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 Hey! But, uh, Please, let me ask you. So, when am I going to come with my people to uh, finalize a bride price? Uh, you have to calm down and follow me slowly. Follow me slowly. You have, you have spoiled me with gifts. And I want to pay you back. Ibu mwa nana When you want my penny in an eme, get your money. Kaa kuli taba, keti kasiba. Kaa kuli taba. All that she does is not go. Anything that goes up. You don't know. Be careful. You don't know. That is the more reason why I don't want to pay you back. You see? She is very, very available. I don't understand your statement. You don't understand? Yes. Does it mean you have not been looking into her eyes very well? Don't let me tell you. Once you marry her daughter, <laughs> and you make the move, <laughs> I swear, she is available. <laughs> Chihide. Chihide, so you're still the same very, very old person. You are advising me to marry Mama and begin. That's an added advantage now. Look, let me tell you. That is the advantage of marrying the daughter of a very wise woman. Hey, because. <laughs> oh. Chidi, do you know what you're advising me? What you're talking about is highly satanic. Marrying mother and daughter. Oh, Melende Nawa. No! In my village, that is an abomination. Thank God. Thank God for what? Thank God I am not from your village. I swear. If not, I know that the girl will not accept me. Eh? Mm. 
I would have finished how long ago. Hi. Anyway, I brought you here to take the girl because I know that the girl is very good. If you like, <laughs> take the added advantage. If you don't like, leave it. Huh? Uh -huh. If you if you can transfer your money to me. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Do you need more girls? No, 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 I don't yes. need anything short. I wait, want to go. Wait, now nah, I'm clean with you now. <laughs> Are we not joking? We are just happy. Bring more drinks. <laughs> Bring more drinks. There are many things I can leave for you to handle, but definitely, I cannot let you double into who marries my daughter Sandra, because you are, you are capable of making deadly and stupid mistakes. What, what, what do you mean? Why are you always insulting me? The greatest headache I have to date, here and now, is Tonya. Your, your, your so-called useless daughter-in-law, eh? Even when I was, you were the one that approved of her. When I was crying, begging you that this girl has nothing to offer. All the advice you gave me in the past that I followed turned out to be zero, not. Now listen, you know the kind of war I waged before you allowed me to open that kiosk that I have now transformed into a millennium restaurant. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself what would have been our end today if not for that restaurant? Good. I, I'm talking about a medical doctor with a busy hospital in Oka. I am talking about the son of my friend, Samuel Obano, my friend of blessed memory. Samuel Obano? Is it not that foolish man that was wearing the same awkward colored uh, multicolored coats with you what can his son offer his son cannot offer anything better than his father like son like fa father i don't want any family friend arranged marriage for my daughter because we never had any rich family friends i don't want a medical doctor for my daughter doctors are not known to be rich i want rich men politicians are you workers? We are not talking about you. We are talking about my daughter. Can you swear? Huh? Why are you looking at me as if you are a robot? Can you swear that Sandra is your daughter? Can you? Holy. Are you telling me now that my own daughter, who looks exactly like my mother, is not longer my daughter? Huh? That is not the point. The important thing is that I have found a husband for my daughter. Hmm? A rich man. Ndinagaga. Happening guy. So go and tell your daughter friend that we are not sick. Eh? We are not sick. Our temperatures are very normal. He should take his status quo to somewhere else. We are not available for now. Okay, okay. Who is this husband you found for my daughter? Hey, now you have come. His name is Benson. Benson. Obelema Batane Gonauma. Agui no me. His friends call him Agui. Hey! Dewa. <laughs> yeah, you know I told you not to come to my shop again. But I think I am going to lift the sanction now. Come to my shop tomorrow morning and you will see a beautiful satellite dish that he won there. The thing is already working. I didn't even ask him for it. Too. Without asking, he just mounted. He just came and saw that I needed it and he mounted it. So you are taking it just because he mounted a mere satellite dish for you? It is not mere. Don't call it mere. How can you call satellite dish mere? Ha. Ah. Can you afford it? Eh, <laughs> Can you afford a supply case? All the years you wasted your life in a way, were you able to buy ordinary color television? How much more supply this? You should be grateful to God for blessing people so that He can also bless you. Yes, that's it. Yes, now. You are going to destroy yourself. Not me or any of my children. Say whatever you like. All I know is that a medical doctor can never, never marry my daughter. I don't want any medical doctor as a, as a, as a son-in-law. 
What has he got to offer? He should look for sick people. You know, your cancer, diabetes, you know, nonsense. Look at it. You are my brother. I can confide in you. Look at it. I am going to kill that woman. No. No, you will not kill anybody. You will not kill your wife. Huh? To go to jail for murder? No. Leave her to kill herself. I was warning you about the space and attention you give to her, but you wouldn't listen. Can you, can you imagine a woman I married with my own money saying that I, I, I should tell her thank ma every time I finish eating? Not only that, she says that uh, I am uh, stagnant. I, I sit in one place. That she is on the move. She, she is the one then gaga. That, that's, what, that's what she is. She learned that from the restaurant. Yeah. Hmm? I want you not to open restaurant business for that woman. The wives of my friends who ran restaurant in, in, in Makadi, they did the same to their husbands. They don't have respect for anybody. They don't respect anybody. I am going to close that restaurant. You can't do it. Why? You cannot do that. You don't have the particulars. Have the, you don't have the, the, the particulars to prove that you opened that place. I know my way that she registered that place as Madame Gold Millennium Restaurant. Do not allow your wife to arrest you with police. Do not allow your wife to arrest you with police. Are you now saying that that I will just stand and allow her to insult me in my own house? Is that what you are saying? Anemi, leave that for me. I will handle it. I will handle her. You see, remember now you are a cabinet chief. There are things you can no longer do. Eh? Go back to your house. Relax yourself. Relax your mind. I will go to her. I will talk to her. Anyway, money then I tell you they go one day this money go put you for a hollow Millennial lady one in a gaga Anyway money then I tell you they go one day this money go put you for a hollow you know they hear anything anybody want Say you know be there with you anybody when no they pay You know send anybody when no one make you jolly Or any more will come here you to read even one in a gaga, when you want my fanny in a name, get your money. Kakulitaba, get Kasiba, Gangulitaba, all that glitter says not go. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money, go to boom, get it up. All that glitter says not go. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money, go to boom, get it up. Millennial lady, one in a gaga. Anyway, money, then I tell you the go. Get 
Kasiba, Yang Molitaba. Hey, 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 I'm going to surprise you back home. <laughs> Beyond your dreams and your dreams. <laughs> hey! Millennium lady. You know, that's what they call me. Yes. The lady on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I am Agui. Mm. Agui is one of the biggest importers in the whole of main markets. Straight. Yes. Know. You see, my containers come in 20s and 40s weekly. Chai. Millennium. I have over 40 boys at my payroll. He does not tell lies. Okay? Uh, yes! He does not lie. You see, and what you're looking at is handmade crafted jewelry specially for you. Hey! As a matter of fact, I came with them hand carry. I did not mix it with any other thing. I know. And I'm happy you like them. <laughs> like them? That's an understatement. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Abi hey. is your man. Hey. Once you understand me, I will be very important to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eh? mm. You guys are good. Uh. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Chidi. Uh? <laughs> I never knew you had this good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh. a prophet is not accepted in his own town. <laughs> Meaning? Uh. This guy called Benson. No, agree. Mm -hmm. I used to be more content than him now. I used to be a guy, guyer than him. Uh, <laughs> yes, now. Even when he was wearing color riot, a pant, color riot. Not for pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing hints. Uh, that was then. Uh, what is happening now? No. Uh, even now, I am coded. <laughs> coded, my boy, my boy. That is true. That is true. Eh? Oh, you guys are overcoded. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> so these ones are meant for me. Mm -hmm, no. <laughs> if you want more, he will bring go. Yes, yes. He will bring. He told me already. He told me. <laughs> yes. You are just simply the kind of in-law I want. <laughs> my dream in-law. You know, God says he will give me the desire of my heart. <laughs> you are the desire of my heart. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, it's not called exactly. It's exactly. <laughs> you see, uh, don't forgive me. Thank you for the correction. You see, I do, I deal with pounds and dollars, so I pay in the naira equivalent of a grammar. Oh <laughs> I just came put it back. Naira equivalent of a grammar. <laughs> <laughs> hey. ah. uh, millennial lady, you see, as we are talking this, we are talking this too. Uh. Uh, can you bring our wife and let her come and sit with us and enjoy now, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. She's already yours. <laughs> Sandy! You see, you see what I hey. told you? You see what I told you? Sandra! Are you hearing the name, Sandy? Come, come, see where come. the name is going? Yes, 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 yes. yes. See where the name is going? Come and say hello to Aki. This is my in-law. I want you to stay with him, eh? Let me go across the road and uh, buy something for our visitor. Mm, That's what mm. market over there. Eh? Please take care of them. I take care of us. Keep so them take care good of us. <laughs> oh, take care of us. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Millennium lady. <laughs> the moving lady. Guy <laughs> lady. Lady that guy guy. Don't give it to anybody. <laughs> Keep them good company. Remember what I told you. Send the right signal. <laughs> 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 I'll join you both. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> How's it, Kadike? Good evening. How are you? Hi, welcome. 
This one you are in my restaurant today. I hope there's no problem. Because you've never been here before. There is always the first time. Oh. <laughs> but in specific time, there is an issue I must see that urgent and very important, which I want us to discuss. Okay, uh, you know this is business hour. I have some visitors and there's something they want me to get for them across the road. Just give me some time. Yeah? I'll come back to you. Where do I wait? Just wait for me here. Yeah? Yeah, I have visitors. I will, I will, I will attend to, to you in a short while. Okay. Why are you not comfortable? Eh? Your mother said you should feel free with us. Eh? I'm very sorry. I'm really uncomfortable with what I'm wearing. I'm not the first thing to wear. <laughs> what you're wearing is not a problem. <laughs> I like it like that. See, let me tell you something. Honestly, the way you're looking now, you look like an egg yolk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, let me tell you something. Agu is a big boy. I am a mover, I am a shaker. Thank you. <laughs> I am rich. And by the special grace of God, I own the biggest and most powerful boutique and a fashion place you can think about in this Thank time. you! <laughs> I employed one lady to be managing it at which I can call on the phone and fire her. Thank you! <laughs> and employ you. No, hand it over to you as my wife to be. Thank you! <laughs> to become the president CEO of the conglomerates. Thank you! <laughs> you understand? As a matter of fact, I need you to understand that all the streets in China I have here Every of the Nigerian boys that load markets in China are under my payroll. Thank you! <laughs> As I am speaking right now, they are making plans to cram me a zebo of China. Thank you! <laughs> you are blessed! <laughs> and by the special grace of God, you will become law on my China. Thank you! <laughs> and from there, we will proceed to America and all other I places. I live Nigeria here! Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Look, I will kill any mosquito for you. Look at oh god. Jesus, what to go in this town? Anything that bites instead, if I don't see what I'll do, I'll pay EFCC to guide you. Farrow squad, straight. Look at that, she's dressed now. Look at that, she's she is the most beautiful. Ah, no, 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 not now, not now. I am with my wife to be no look, call my manager. I'm not in business right now. <laughs> That is why they call everywhere. Everywhere! Is, is yeah. it from Europe? <laughs> Europe, they call. Uh, China. Uh, China! <laughs> See now. She is the most beautiful girl in this area. I'm sorry if you misunderstood it. My brother has a point. There is no way anybody can compare a medical doctor with a petty trader. My dearly beloved husband. The problem is that my husband did not explain it to me very well. But remember I told you this is business hour. Uh, we cannot discuss right here. Eh? I promise you, I'll close shop very early today and I'll come to see you in the house tonight. No good. Or whatever they call you. You cannot rule our family. You cannot. You see? If you don't want to behave yourself, we will have no other option than to grind you to a, a halt. My husband, it does not come to that now. Eh? You know you are the only one I respect. Please, just bear with me. I, I will come tonight. I'll come to the house tonight. As soon as I, this visitors go, I will close up shop and I will come and see you. So we can discuss. We can discuss here now. I mean, I should go. I promise. I will come. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will close early and come. Well, let me value. Please don't be angry. Eh? Okay, I will see you. Eh? <laughs> I am so sorry to have kept you. No, no, no. One no. useless visitor kept me over there. It's alright. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's alright. We are standing already. <laughs> yeah. you know that I must say that I and my age, huh? no, my friend, we are very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> We are very impressed with uh, the hospitality. Eh? Yes. Thank yes. you very much. Thank God bless you. you. Thank you. We have not seen anything yet. Uh -huh. My daughter and I are the best thing that will happen to your life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. I've been coaching how? Yeah. I've been coaching her. That is true. <laughs> that is the edge I have over other women. I can see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My daughter will scatter your head, your brain, with romance. Hot romance. Hey, 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 you make me sit down again, though. Oh, just that 
I have to go and attend to continue. It's not our. <laughs> I know. I My body is doing so hard already. <laughs> I know, don't worry. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Thank you, eh? All right. Please come often. Hey! Please, this, place, this place is our branch office. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be bringing him. I'll yes. be bringing him. Ibu mwangi na gaga. Onyu won my feni nene. What kind of question is that? Is this how to welcome a hard working son of yours who has been away in the north for so long? Moreover, is this no longer my father's compound? Look, I hope you have not squandered the money I gave you recently. Bundle yourself back to where you came from because there's no more money to give you. Honey boy, you know you are my man. <laughs> you know you are my man. Boy boy, this one you are dressed like the king you said. You are not going to the palace to share money because I would like to be a better competition. That is the only language you hear. Money. Ah, money answer it all things, my papa. Money answer it all things. It's in the Bible. Uh huh. And so you have become the bigger. Uh, you and I know that I'm big in the corner. Uh, yeah, second yeah. cut. You that us. Yeah, uh, second cut, please. Uh, I can see. Yes. That is why you agree with your mother. Money. Once, once it comes to money, now you better go and join her in her shop so that both of you can sort yourselves out. Do you hear me? And make sure you shut this door when you go. I'm a boy. The boy, oh boy. <laughs> Retired railway worker. You ah. look sixteen. Hey! But this attack is not on me. This man is up to something. He is hiding something from me. But I'll find out. Well, from what I have seen so far, there is money in this family. I hope he will give me some more money to go back to the north. Come on, boy, you must give me the dance. Hard working boy. <laughs> By the time, you are right on time. And I will just do as you instructed. I will not keep your house up. Then to reason like a man, you had better start going back to the north and let your brother and I handle this matter. Why, why must you always reason like your mother? Are you mad? Papa, do we have any case of madness in our lineage? Huh? What brought about this madness of a thing? Sometimes I don't get you. You are always misunderstanding the whole thing. You asked me to go and see my mother, which I did. Now I can tell you here and now, from my findings, that something is cooking. All you need to do is to, you know, behave like a guy. Even if you are not. All of us know you are not a guy. Play along. Join the train. Let's cook this thing together. That's all. It's very, very simple. What are you talking about? You said Mama is against the medical doctor. Yes. And I support her. Just ask me why. Why? Why must you support her when you know she is being stupid? There you go again, Papa. Ah, there you go again. Our mother being stupid. The one and only millennial lady of Africa is stupid. Mama cannot be stupid now. Nah. Mama is like Toyota that cannot be wrong. Huh? And a boy. Listen, let me tell you. Medical doctors do not always make good money. And those of them that manage to make good money would always not spend it. Ever since I sold that my well-positioned land and gave the money to you and you relocated to the north, have you brought anything back here in return? Have you? Point of correction, Papa. You did not sell your land. You sold their land you inherited from your father. Uh. Huh? Why are you deviating from the subject matter? Okay, everybody knows that I have not brought anything back home. Is that not enough reason why we must chase away suitors that have no money and welcome those with plenty of money? And a boy, listen to the voice of reason. We need a permanent source of fear in this family. Do you know that you are an idiot? Oh, you just realized now that I'm an idiot. Why did it take you so long to know that I'm, a, I'm, I'm an idiot? Papa, there's nothing ever possible in this world without money. Look, as an idiot, I always need money. And that is why we must chase away suitors that have no money. And welcome and embrace with two hands 
That's what we think of money. This is not the case of you go in here, we need money in this one. We need money in this family. The only asset we have here, we want to tell you that the one business man can talk because he comes around in the Congo suit. Think, oh, think. I don't want to think. This is the only asset we have here. No medical doctor. That is medical doctor. Business man is better. <laughs> I know your family very well. Your father was even very close friend of other people. But you cannot try to be sold that you come and marry me. I want to know what you can do on your own. What I can? Yes. Madam, I have told you already that I want to marry your daughter. And I'm very serious about it. What else do you want me to say that I'm not saying? Oh. Now tell me, how many people did you consult before embarking on this poorly planned mission of getting to marry my daughter? Um, to me, I believe marriage is a personal thing and it should be treated as such. So I don't think I need to make any wide consultation before I choose to uh, marry whoever I think I want to spend the rest of my life with. I have not come with anybody, though I have um, discussed extensively with your husband and Peter, your first son. Your name must be Martins, the doctor. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Martins, the chief medical director of um, Obama Memorial Hospital. If you like, you can be the manager, the general manager of National Hospital Abuja. I want to tell you now that you are not serious. Madam, see, believe me, I'm very serious. In fact, eh, if your daughter accepts to marry me today, I could finish every preparation within one week. Within one week? You can finish every preparation within one week. Yes, ma'am. And yet you came empty-handed. Is that what they thought you at the medical college? I just start calling you my in-law. See, I came prepared. What else do you want me to do? Anything you want me to do for you, I will do. I came prepared though. You see what I mean? Other suitors are coming with things. Big and wonderful things. Without being told what to bring and what not to bring. And you are standing here. Asking me what I want you to bring. You can't you see that you are just unserious. No, no. See, believe me. Believe me when I say it. I am very serious. I want to marry your daughter. That's why I came here. No, you cannot marry my daughter. You cannot. People like you are the lunatics that reduced Chimwendo to a laughing stock of almost everybody. So, now medical doctor, take your status go to another compound. Where people are sick, I don't have any sick person in my house. Madam, mommy, believe me, I am very serious. I need to marry your daughter. Stop allowing me now. You know they hear anything anybody wants. Say you know believe me, I am a very good in law. You know send anybody when no one make you jolly. Or any more we come here and you to read. If you want you na gaga, when you want my penny na na. I want you to go straight to the point. What is your stand? Ha! See me here now. I am standing where you are standing. Because I know something good must always come out. Ha! I'm surprised you're asking me this question. Are you no longer the one and only millionaire lady of Africa? Our names are togetherness. We are standing together. <laughs> yes, that's nice. Thank you. Do you know that the, that stupid nonsensical doctor, medical doctor, came to my shop yesterday? And he was asking me, what do you want me to do for, for you? As if I'm the one telling other suitors what to do. Mama, forget the doctor. The dead will always be the dead. Let's talk about the suitor with money. Are you sure this our will be in law has plenty of money? He has excess, not just plenty. <laughs> so, are you saying he will give me more money to revive my dying business? Titus, huh? It's your business dying again. Mama, my business is not the only one dying now. So the only one dying, almost all businesses are dying in this country. It's just that the condition of my business requires urgent attention. And I will need nothing less than 500,000 to give me back to life again. Huh? Can you give me the money? You are asking me. I can't stand here and tell you yes. Anyway, let me look for something and tell him tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll just start from there. 
Titus, are you saying that the 700,000 that your father gave you last January, you have already squandered it? Mama, it's not my fault. I think it's because I have uh, the one and only Millennium Lady of Africa as my mom. The Simone has a way of disappearing from my hands. <laughs> the Millennium. <laughs> Tell me why you have sent for me. I will simply be forced to abandon you here and now. Why would you go to Kadike's house to insult him? Does it mean you do not have any form of respect for any member of my family? Was he not the first to come to my shop to insult me? Was he not? I just pampered him and made sure I set him away from so that he would not disturb my, my customers. I went back to his house as I promised him. You insulted him out? Of course I did. You are telling me to my face that you insulted my brother? Warn him. Warn him to, step, to, to, to just stay away from me. And stop poking us into what does not concern him. You, 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 you imagine, look at it. What advice has he got to advise anybody here? Eh? A wretch like who can he That cannot afford only 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira or not, he has every right to intervene in anything that concerns my family. Who told you that? Who told you that, Anene? Tell him to stay away. Or I will come to that his compound and send him out of, out of that compound. Do what? I will send him out. Oh. Go and warn him. Listen to me. I am not the one that duped him in my country. So let him mind his business. Eh? Let him just leave me alone. What is this? Just leave me alone. I will show the fire for fire. Is this not madness? She wants to chase a man out of his compound. Hey. If I were you, Sandra, I would just do what I have just told you. Huh? Why can't you just think for once? Titus, uh -huh. do you know my only problem with you in this house? Oh. Is that you don't see anything wrong with what our mother does. You tend to support her in everything she does. It is so wrong. Unacceptable titles. Unacceptable. Sandra, why should I say something wrong than what is openly right? Look, let me tell you. Our mother, the one and only millennial lady of Africa, the only woman on the move, is a talented chap woman who considers all and goes before reaching any decision. Understand it? Titus, please. I do not want your trouble this morning. I don't want an argument at all this morning. As I can see, I am busy. Please leave me alone. Please. Nobody is arguing with you. All I just want you to do is to accept the businessman. Huh? We call the money Miss Road. It's a better option than the medical doctor who goes about town seeing sicknesses that don't even exist. Sometimes before you know it now, he will say he has seen virus. I just want you to think about the money. The economy, the money. Just look at you, Titus. You advise me. Who gives you the right to advise any person on earth, let alone me? Hey? Are you not the one that daddy gave money to start your business? Have you for one day thought of bringing out 500 naira to buy bread for everybody to eat breakfast in this house? No. And you're standing here advising me about my own life. Uh, Sandra, to you now, I am extravagant. Huh? That's no problem. I just want you to do me a favor. Just go around town, make a wire. Who has ever succeeded in business with the process from a land sale? Nobody. Look, let me tell you. Our father has a bad plan to destroy me. That's why I don't agree with you. Titus. The one is a very, very wicked man. Titus. Please be careful what you say. Don't talk about me. Be careful. Don't talk about me. Ah. What do you mean? The one 
Can you follow the whole money he made? I said, we will work to send people to invest. What did he do for me? Nothing. Don't tell me that it's Sunday. You are the hope of the hopeless. On this your shoulder lies the burden of this family. All I want you to do is to follow the businessman that has money. And forget about this doctor. Leave this doctor. Let him go back to his hospital. Or you don't visit your man. Titus. Hmm? You're my brother and I cannot lie to you. Yes. You see, in this life, money is not everything. Uh -huh. It is not. Awesome. And I will tell you that truth. Look, Titus. I would rather choose the doctor over the trigger. And it is period. You guys have to realize that this is my life, not yours. No, no, look, let me tell you. I life. will forgive you. Because you are my dead sister. Don't call that man a trader. Let us believe in the gentleman. The man is a businessman, a first class businessman. I don't know what is wrong with you. Look, doctors and lawyers are just the same. They will be looking for faults. They will see where catch is needed and they will be waiting for God to come down from heaven to solve their problem. The businessman is better. Any slightest like this, he will lose money. And if the cash is not enough, you will go and bring more cash. Huh? That's what we need here. Action and more stories. Huh? Also understand this thing. It's just simple. Thank I just you. want you to understand it. I understand, thank you. Just can I walk now? You can. Okay, go. You reason like our father. Oh no, you, the two of you are just synonymous. You reason I like. The only thing that is different is their complexion. Think, go. Think, you are the only asset we have you. Think, go. Papa has no money. He's retired. Peter is, I uh, don't know. We are a bank. No, okay. I'm just the only one trying. Do, I still need some money to buy the things. Just think. Wow. In fact, you have stolen my heart. <laughs> fully, fully. Hey! Look at it now. Hmm? My in law now gives me dot. Oh, we thank the Lord. Ego Igwe. Ego Igwe. Millennial lady. You don't just say you want to marry a woman. Action speaks louder than voice. I know. That is why I'm doing it. <laughs> Millennial lady. Uh -huh. Why in a JJ? Oh, money. Nah, but, uh, but, oh, nah. more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you knock me off balance each time you appreciate my gifts. Oh. It makes me want to give and give and give again. Exactly. <laughs> Keep giving. Eh? <laughs> I love gifts. I appreciate gifts a lot. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, Millennium lady. Millennium lady. Yeah. But Millennium lady. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you. When are we? When am I going to come with my people to finalize the flag price? Uh, we just have to hold up for some time. Eh? Just hold, I'm still working on her. Just hold up. Oh? Uh, for how long uh, would I hold up? You see, she still has feelings for that useless medical doctor. So I'm just trying to beat it down. Eh? I have even told the medical doctor that my daughter is not available. He should try somewhere else. But you didn't tell me about any medical doctor. I didn't tell you. Yes. I'm surprised that I didn't tell you. Well, you know now, this medical doctor that speaks grammar to her all the time. And because she went to grammar school, she enjoys speaking grammar. But don't worry, I'm working on her. Oh? Yes. <laughs> Because the goat has hairs, he won't know when it is wet. Out of hard work. Uh, Are you sure this medical doctor is no longer comfortable? Because uh, I'm not comfortable with uh, these people that speak too much of English. They are the problem we have in, in, in the main market. Always confusing people. Forget him. I have spoken to him. I, you see, uh, I am working. And I have told him that my daughter is not available. What else? I'm working. Believe me, I am working. Millennium lady, 
my daughter will bend down. It's just that I wanted to come into it now. Uh -huh. So how do I come in? Her immediate elder brother was duped in the north where he was doing his business. And uh, you can you can see that uh, Sandra no longer comes here. She stays at home with him, trying to console him. Both of them are too close. So uh, Sandra will marry you if she if she gets to know that you gave him money to get back to his business again. Okay, I'm 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 sorry for the news. But like, how much are we talking about? The money is too much. You know. You know the kind of money somebody needs to start a good business. How much is it, Millionaire? Huh? Don't call, boy, you won't go off. I call the name. How much? Money is just too much. That is why I'm finding it difficult to... Call the name. Just call it. Because this, I am Egonese, Egonese is in our home. How much is it? Well, you said 500,000 naira. Huh? Things are hard, I know. Things are hard. <laughs> Millennium lady, why in a JJ? Come on, 500,000 eh? there. Take it easy. It doesn't matter. This is a public place. I know. It's big, oh. I dash Oyubo money. The man sitting before you is known as Bank Benson PLC. Benson? Agri have... International. You have a bank? How much? 500,000 there. As a matter of fact, I need a and I am writing a check right now. In whose name do you want it? You want to write a check now, now? And I'm making it 600,000 naira. see, you want to kill me? 600? In whose name? Gold, gold. Millennium restaurant now. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money go to punk again. All that glitters is not gold. Anything that goes up must surely come down. This lady said you had a bag. I agree with the bank. Benzi PLC. Better than Beyonce. Mm. Michael Jackson is a small boy. Eh. I don't want to talk about Russia. I'm hot. You are a good dancer. Stop flattering yes. me, Joe. Stop flattering me. <laughs> Look at your natural endowment. Yes. The Almighty created you wonderfully. Titus, Titus. Let me feel it. My milkshake, you mean? Ewu tam. It's all yours. Ewu mm. It's all yours. Ewu mm. <laughs> Ooh. Mbo. Hey. Mbo. My milkshake. Titus, Titus. Stand up, let me assess your property. Let me see, okay? Uh -huh. play, play, with, play with the upset. Some more. Mm -hmm. Six thousand. You feel me? Six K. <laughs> 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 
Good boy. Uh -huh. See, baby, because of this wonderful show you put up today, yeah. mm -hmm. we are going to club tonight. Hey! This wonderful creature you see here has a lot of money to throw around. Yes. 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 As you can see, evidence on the table. Titus, Titus. Mm -hmm. Titus, Titus. Mm -hmm. Like this, your money have uh, finally arrived. How come you know? I see it on your face. My very able mother, the millennial lady of Africa, has opened the World Bank. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter is that I am going to finish your gears mm -hmm. with plenty of fun. Baby, bring the money. I know we are all spoiled. Mm -hmm. But I am going but to spoil you some more. Uh -huh. Baman! Where is the hotel? No, 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 cool down. Now. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. The house rent you promised me now. You said you were going to help me. You mean the apartment beside the, the ranch? The cattle ranch? Yes, no. It's not possible, no? Uh -uh. No, you are dealing with the crown prince. Mm. You can't be a neighbor to pick some swine. Hey. No, hey, hey. I'm going to rent an apartment for you close to the year. Cash money. Huh? Cash yeah, money. Where you breathing? Nice breeze. You're talking. You're talking. You're talking. Ah, ah. Fine. Yeah. Why not? Um, you know, that's like a friend. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh -huh. Why not dance like a friend? Yes, I'm sir. looking for who I will take to VIP by this time. You know, it's only one girl, one man in the VIP corner. Is it not better all of us dance? Sorry, to choose the best. Are you challenging ah, me? That choose, is not a bad idea. Best. That's an excellent idea. I'll be the judge. Look, let me tell you the winner of the contest will swim in champagne this night. That's me. This man is here has too much money. Mm -hmm. I send money on her and I'm here again. Digger, a woman. Gets what I'm saying because you are nicely blindfolded. You're going to see Madame Gold, and I have stopped you to advise you. She's my friend, I know her very well, just like the back of my throat. We grew up in the same neighborhood, I know her lifestyle. She's a smooth operator, she's a money launderer, she's also a bottomless pit. Yes. She's playing games with you and swindling you of your money. Um, please, may I know your name? Oh no, you don't need to know my name. You know why? Because if I tell you my name, you guess you go straight to her and tell her exactly what I have told you. Anyway, I was with her yesterday. You know how she sees you? It's not good at all. It's terrible. She sees you as a mother. A mumu, hmm? a foolish paymaster who doles out free money for consumption. <laughs> I know you're somebody's son. That is why I'm advising you. Sure, you have a mother. Yes, I do. Your mother, who suffered for you, is 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 waiting to enjoy all the things that money can buy, all the comforts, and you're here. Flushing your money down the toilets. Listen, I will advise you to search yourself very well. Go inwards. Huh? Just to know what you're doing. Eh? Go straight to the girl's father and make your mission clear. Anyway, I'm just giving you this advice because advice is a stranger. If welcome, it stays the night. If not, it leaves. So, check it or leave it. Look, 
Look, I don't understand when I tell you something, I you don't follow it. Look, I best, am... Bestie, I don't even know why you're angry. No, tell me! Why are you angry? I have done every homework, arranged everything, and now you want to come and spoil it. Man, let me tell you why I'm angry. You must take me to that, to that girl's father now, and we're going there. Hey. Now, now, now. Come, no! Have I not told you to forget about the girl's father? Madam God is the all and all! And you don't understand that I said I just met a woman who told me that your so-called Madam God is a constant. Hey, forget! People can say anything now, huh? And you're not aware that I gave that woman a whooping sum of 600,000 naira. 600 what? 1,000 naira. 600,000? Very what has that got to do with it? Ah, 600,000 naira that can buy two buses and you did not tell me. Mercy, okay, am I no longer in charge of this operation? You are in charge of this operation and that is why you must take me to the gas fire now. Are you going or not? I will go yes. and if you spoil this thing, it's your own. I said, let's go. Okay, I think I will not go. I will go. You are not going to tell me Okay, that. you gave us 600,000 and you did not tell me. I said, let's go. You did not. I will go. Open it. It is not right for a man to say that his wife lied. And again, it is wrong for a man's wife to deceive a group of young men who came to make a simple inquiry. But one thing I'll let you know. Gold, my wife, is a deceiver. She is a liar and would do anything to get money. Hello? I'm in a meeting with my in-laws. Huh? Okay, call me back in the evening. Or oh, you can call my manager. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Sorry about that, sir. Well, sir, um, the truth about it is that it's just a little talking. Chicken change, 600,000 naira. It's just small money. The issue is that she made me believe or understand that Titus and Sandra are very close. And that I just needed to, that I, that I should support with a little token to aid his foreign business. And that thereafter that he was going to talk to Sandra to marry me, convince her to marry me. And that is one of her lies. She thrives in fallacy. That money you gave to her is like money given to a masquerade. It is wasted. If you go back to her now, she will start to tell you another story just to make you spend more money. Excuse me, sir. Please don't be annoyed. At times when I talk, they will say I am not reasonable. I am senseless. Just like this, my friend, Agui. Who is supposed to be more reasonable than me? <laughs> In quote. In quote. Call it 600,000 naira. Token. 600,000 naira. Token. Anyway, I will not say anything. Let us keep that one aside for now. What I want to ask is just one question. One small question. Are you trying to tell us now that? Titus cannot convince the sister to marry my friend. <laughs> Sandra and Titus have never agreed on anything. Yeah. If anyone told you that Sandra listens to Titus or that Titus can convince Sandra to do something, that person is telling you a big lie. The two of them never see eye to eye. Yeah. Deliver it to the, con to the warehouse. I'll talk to my manager now. Actually, I'm in the meeting. Okay, bye. Don't get really made up here. Anyway, sir, like I said before, I'm a credible young man. I am just blessed by God to be a channel of blessing to people. The money we're talking about, like I said, is token. It's just 600000 is not enough compared to the kind of money I spend in the nightclub jumping from one club to the other in the night. I've seen a girl that is brought up very well, like your daughter. And I want to marry her. And I am very, very, very credible. Well, uh, if you ask me, you seem uh, credible. Daddy. 
This man that is sitting next to you here is not credible at all. He is not as credible as you think. This man sitting down there is a complete bagat. <laughs> the only reason why he's sitting so prim and proper talking gently to you is because of the money he has given to Mama. The money that he calls token now. <laughs> Me, Agri, a braggart. Doing well is that my fault? Being big is that my fault? Is it my fault that bank managers queue up in my house to ask for favors instead of me going to their house? Is it my fault that at my age that I have a lot of boys under me? Is it my fault that I have you quite perfected plans of making you the president of the biggest beauty parlor? and boutique in Onisha. Is that my fault? Wanting to make you my wife who I will import a fully loaded container of jewels where you have franchise to supply the whole of West Africa. Is that my fault? Just take a good look at yourself. Hmm? Look, I take a good look at yourself. You stand here and, and tell me that it's unfair to call you a brother. You know, that's what you're exactly doing in front of I am my father. What are you talking about? Is it my fault that I'm doing well at my age? Is it my fault? Okay, look at, just look at you, my wife to be, look at what you're wearing. I will repackage you and present you to the world the way you ought to be. A pretty damn self for that matter. I can wear whatever I want to wear. I will buy whatever I, I deem fit and wear on my body. Okay? If you have plans of big bag, buying me big things, keep it to yourself. Save your money. Papa, please, I am taking you in the middle of all. Do not correct me from this man. So you can't, you will sell your hands. Because this man here will not and can never be my husband. Sandra. Eh? Eh? Did you call my name? What? Where's your name before? Eh? Sandra, I'm Mua. No, wait, wait. Sandra! <coughs> me! Mua will tell you. Look at what you have got. 600,000 naira, you see? Chidi, okay, sir. no problem. Alright. I need to thank you very much again. Oh, Chidi, 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 Chidi. Eh? For God, you are a dead man. Who? I, you are a dead man. Who says swear? Let me tell you. You are an idiot. You are a fool. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are calling me an, an idiot. I, I, what, after you have connived with that, is that your woman friend, I, I don't even know what you call her name, to swindle my, my, my hard in money. Let me tell you. Two. If you are not my friend, I would have shown you something now. My person retired because he had a want to enter into boxing. I would have been, you would have been on the ground now. Anyway, let's forget that one. This young girl will not do anything. Look at there's no time more. Let us go to the woman now. Before she finishes that money. Let's go now, let's go. Now. Do you tell me before she, you gave us 600,000 naira? Do you tell me? Huh? I'm the one that's supposed to get annoyed. And you are getting annoyed. If you... No, sir. You... Uh -huh. Let me tell you. Since I knew you, eh? Since I knew you, have you given me money? Uh, but is that what we're talking about? Have you ever given me that cover? All you know is this, this. Look at my stomach. Look at this, this, this. this. My, my stomach will bust. Don't worry, let's get this, this money. What is no worry? What is no worry? So, uh, but, but that's not the issue now. Let's... What is what? What is not the issue? L let's... What is not the issue? Okay, let's get this money first now. Let me money you will not give me. Why you lost carry money and give the woman 600,000 naira? I'm not looking at you. Because I know you. Okay. Let's go. 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 Madam G, mm -hmm. you have not been talking about that to your mug. What happened? The idiot is supposed to be here. I don't know what is keeping him. <laughs> Come, is, is, is there any amount of money he will ever bring that will make you allow Sandra marry him? How can you ask me that kind of stupid question? You expect me to allow that man to marry my daughter, Sandra? That is not possible. A trader. 
there are only two businesses in this country politics and oil hmm? the only man that can marry my daughter is a politician mm -hmm. or an oil worker <laughs> he must own oil rig or oil rigs as the case may be <laughs> only when such people come mm. sandra will be available for marriage so you mean you mean you have been collecting money from this man sucking him dry before uncle, <laughs> how, how how do you expect me to give my my daughter's hand in marriage to a trader in the main market, trader and kitten? Eh? No, now. Before you know it, he will ask my daughter to go and learn how to prepare his shiru or his shiru. Or his shiru. Hey, my in-law. Hey. So you have been using your daughter to swindle people, Abby? What is he What is he saying? You've been using your daughter to swindle me. Why did you tell me that your daughter does not like me? Eh? Who told you that? Eh? Who told you that? My daughter is even dreaming of you. This morning she said she dreamt where you were marrying her. Ah, she? And... Lie! That is lie! Lie! Pure lie! We are just coming from your house now. Well, and Sandra told us in plain language that she will never marry my friend. Why? Yes. Why did you have to go straight to my daughter? Can you, can you imagine eh? that? You have spent everything for me. All the things in Konuko, you have this. Hey, 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 just hold it. Let me tell you something. My name is Bank Benson Pierce. Look at me very well. Never mind you. I am a very, very, very bad man. You don't joke with me. Never at all. Ask of me in main market and everywhere. I am a destroyer and at the same time a creator. I can ignore everything, Maya. Listen to me. I can ignore everything. But you see that 600,000 naira, I will not ignore it. You will refund me that money up to the last couple. Couple. Or else, I will kill you. Yeah. And I'm coming back for my money. Hear it very well. You hear me? Okay. Just wait for me. I'm still coming back for my money. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Let me tell you. I'm just telling you this because of all kinds of things. Mrs. Liar. Onyashi. Greedy woman. 600,000, you cannot give me 10 kobo, 10 kobo, look at you, eh? Benson, eh? don't joke with him, don't joke with him. Let me tell you, he's just coming back from the dreaded Bermuda Triangle where he had a party with them. You hear me? He is bad, he is very bad, he is a devil. Don't joke with him, oh. Mrs. Slayer, oh, you know, this time, hmm, we got Kobe Pascal. We got Kobe Pascal. we got Boston, we got Boston, we got tell you. Are you talking with me? It is a... Okay, anyway. Onyoshi. Leave me now. Do you think that boy can kill? Hey! He looks evil. And I think he's actually evil. He looks like Bermuda evil man. Hey! Madam Jimmy Kutubu, what? That was has 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 exposed me to... Hey, this is big danger for me. What? He was the one that gave this 600,000 in Do you think he will still have that money? You better call him on the phone when you find out. So he can settle this man before he does something bad to me. I saw the ones in his eyes. The way they... Hey! Is it possible that? Hey! That was we still have 600,000 in his eyes. The Buddha Triangle. That is the most point of view to lose us. Oh. Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. have you been able to communicate with that since he left? I've been trying to contact him all because mm -hmm. of this problem. Mm -hmm. But I can't reach him. Hey. At least he would have sent some money. Mm -hmm. yeah? I, sometimes I even wonder why he has started to go and do business in, in, in the north. Yeah, I wonder. Eh? Eh? Tell me, is there any kind of business he cannot do here? I mean, it should be nearer. Eh? Wait. Eh? Nico, Nico. Eh? can you give me some money so that I'll add to the little I have and mm. pay off this agree? Hey. Eh? The, man, the man is very stubborn. Eh. Eh. Madam G, you know now, Things are hard now, you know, these days. I know, but, uh, but let me check my my brain box. Know that there's enough. I feel I have something I can give you. Enough. Hey. Enough.
Uh, I hope you came back with the money. What money? That money now. Ah, uh -huh. but my the business is still hanging. Uh -huh. I actually came back to collect more money. Hey, now I law. Tell me to bring more money. Uh -huh. Which more money? More money. Mameko, <gasps> help me explain to him that there's problem. Uh -huh. Tell him that the trader has involved the Muda Triangle. Muda Magic. Triangle. Muda Magic. Magic or triangle. Yes. Uh -huh. They're in trouble. Hmm. Bring the money. Oh. Bring, if I bring... Relax. 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 I was here in my in my shop yes. and he brought the money to me here. And you yes. must. Yes. I did not steal it. Too. Where Master customer office and I give money to. Under arrest for advance fraud. Thank you. Even fifteen dollars she did not give to me. What, what do you mean by that? When you get to the station. I say arrest this woman. Uh, okay, I'm calling. Hey, I'm calling. I'm calling. Wait, 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 wait. What are we waiting? Wait. wait. This woman you see here is fragile. Officer, I said tell you. You must handle her with care. I did my best. This is going to Gaga. Biko, eh? Tell her name. Tell her name that he's the one that is on the move now, not me. He should come and help me out. As I mean, try. I'm not going to do this. I'm Why are you touching my buttocks? Why? What is it? Is it part of the food you paid for? Why are you vex now? Oh, you are asking me why I'm getting angry. You are asking me why I'm getting angry. Look, eh? Look, don't, don't ever try it again in your life. Eh? Is it because don't I touched you? If you try it, I will look for something and break your head. I'm only respecting you because of it's, it's my, 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 my mother's shop. Don't try it again. The truth, the next time you try it, I will look for something and break your head. Nonsense. Hey, if you use it, just, 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 just come, 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 come here and do nonsense. You can you man? Can you imagine? Can you can you can you imagine? Oh God! Imagine insulting me. This girl, this small girl, insulting me just because I I touched her small. Does she know how much I spend here every day? I spend good money here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sit down, sit down, please. Calm down, calm down, calm down. She doesn't understand. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? I, I will. I will. I will. Want to say. Sandra. Sandra. Eh? What is the matter with you? Don't send my customers away from me, oh. Come on, someone like Sylvester. I permitted to touch. But I haven't given them the license to do any other thing. Simba, please. Sorry, oh. <laughs> she doesn't understand. Eh? You said the, uh, the bill is two, uh, 1,000 there, right? Yes, I'm proud. Okay. I'll take this. This is 2,000 there. You can keep the balance, okay? Thank you very much, sir. But not take money from strangers. Oh, come on. I don't mean anything. It's, it's just from me. I don't mean anything. Just thank keep you. it, okay? Thank you. Why? I appreciate it, but thank you.
within the last couple of weeks now, I know my mama just appeared to me for a dream, you know. Just understand. You, you want you want to join your ancestors? I mean, you want to drop dead? <laughs> yeah, it's not confession. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Which kind of be that one? No, I don't understand how your late mama would appear to you. <laughs> yeah, seriously, seriously. I don't know, but every time that woman just appears, you know, the only thing she just says is, go and marry. 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 No. Okay. Smato, take five. You my man, you know. My correct man. Come and do something. <laughs> you don't take for a stumble. Let's say you don't think I feel like. <laughs> How would you bring that up now? Ah, what you bring and you say, how your mama would don't die. We don't die, you fatty. You'll appear to you. And you tell me your mama. So excuse me. So the bad thing if I get married. No, seriously now, is this a bad thing I get married? No, tell me now. Oh. I mean, you two, you should consider getting married now. I mean, we're not getting any younger. See, it's not okay. I don't understand how huh? you, where well, I know very well, we well, now begin to talk about settling down. <laughs> you agree? You don't agree? You know, it's not possible. Guy, I'm serious. We need to get, we need to get any younger. Seriously, we're not getting any younger. It's okay now. You can always you have plenty of girls now. A lot of them, you know. You can always fish out one. You know? Fish out one and marry. What's that? It's not a big deal. Why? Why is it fish out one of them? Wait, this is not I will marry all those useless girls. Wait, they arrange everything. Bros, marriage, no marriage. Just one. find one person, keep her for house. Ah, you can still they arrange your normal arrange, arrange waiting. No, just see the way we. I know you're living that fool's paradise. Just see the way you think. No, just, just hear you out. Just, just listen. Let me fish out and get fish out one day. Like that, they're like idiots. Wait, 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 wait if my boat changed last time. Like, oh, like, look, guy, I'm looking for a wife. You do some wacko girl outside. For real. You serious one man. Well, since marriage is of utmost importance in your life now, for the look of things, and you need a better person, maybe that kind of wacko, wacko things where you know. Okay, man, no worries. I can arrange it for you. I'm not going to talk to a decent person because I know you don't know good people. So I don't know. Whatever, beg. You should consider getting married. You don't know. I don't know what you're doing with money. I don't know. Your father gave you 700,000 naira. You squashed it, squandered it. And you're telling me now that in less than six weeks, you have blown 600,000 naira. What are you doing with money? Ma what is too hard to come by? Mama, I'm not blowing the money as you tend to think. You see, I was just perfecting a plan to get married to the second daughter of the Northern Governor. Two million. Imagine what we have if the Northern Governor is here. You know. Think about it. I was about, you know, getting closer to winning the guest love before I ran out of uh, out of cash. Okay, you will come back home to collect some money. Ah, to protect the day. Uh, go and collect money now. Go. All the dust bin here. Money. There are, there's money inside them. I understand this then, man. Oh dear. You're welcome, gentlemen. Oh my god, you're looking so awesome. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Well, uh, you may not hire me. Why you not Why you not if you also want to stay outside the fresh day. Yeah. Okay. Just make yourself comfortable. Mama. If you want anything, you just let me know. Uh, okay. uh, Wait. And I'm, I'm not. Finn, 
do not interrupt me again when I'm talking. The titles you see here is not the same titles you used to know. This one is big. Oh. I've wined and dined with the Northern Governor. So, so big. Oh. Listen to me. I don't have any... I don't, I don't even have a chance for all these crap and messages. Come on, come here. Who is talking crap? You are oh, oh, You want to walk away on me? Why won't I? You are not even afraid. Huh? Look, let me tell you. I am ready, even with your insult, to compound all your compounded problems and set the compound that place. All I want you to do is to you know, play along with your bident. Make yourself available. So I could take you to Tota Hotel and put some fire on your lower abdomen. Do you know what? You're just an idiot. Mm. Atos, an idiot. Huh? You are checking what you, what you don't have. You have nothing and you are checking nothing. Charismatic Zuki. You are a dumb boy. I don't blame you. I blame myself for trying to make him feel important. Let go feel about. Let go feel about. Flat chest, flat waist. What am I doing? What can we get through that? Hey! In fact, Fina, because of you, I will become a reverend father. I don't want to get married again. I have nothing. Please. Let's have a couple of days. How many of you sit here? This is not the reason. You know, the girl will understand. I don't know what you are. Settled already. You are now our in-law. <laughs> Please don't forget, I still need to treat you to some proper red wine and champagne. At the hey! <laughs> this is your present, and then I got go. <laughs> oh my palo! See, as you look at me, eh, you will see that I need red wine. And it's been long I took one. Eh? They even say it's good for the heart. Of course. Of course. Anyway. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like it at all. First of all, you forced me into shopping with the stranger. Now you want to force me into, into going to a restaurant to drink red wine with the stranger. You need to go home. My father will force you. Father will As if you don't like it. These things you pick. I don't know the things you need. Yeah. <laughs> Relax now. What is this? Yeah? See the way he's calling you baby, baby. Yeah? Has anyone called you baby before? And the married woman is still parambulating the streets with her daughter. And you call it for nothing. What, what's the matter with you? Huh? Baba, are you under the impression that they will get lost or what? For goodness sake, these are adults. I'm not primary school kids that could easily disappear. Huh? Baba, why are you always negative? You are very negative. And it's all these negativities that we place on one. And once I put it in business, negative breeze will just carry it away. That does. Huh? I cursed the day you were born. Baba, you cannot curse the day I was born. I thought they said you are my father. You can't cause the day I was born because I was born on a Christmas day. And it's not even in your place to, 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 to make such occurrences. Do not enjoy the wrath of the Almighty by saying that you will cause the day your son was born. Okay. You are back. Rejoice! 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 Where are you coming from? Rejoice and then <laughs> The millennium! <laughs> Don't you hear me? I said, where are you coming from? Does it matter? That's not the 
important thing is that <laughs> I need you. The beef eat and then the demo eggy. Hey! What's the meaning of this? Yes, huh? What's the meaning of this? We will go in. I let the more. go. Money has come. Yes, sir. Millennium. Millennium. Anyway, this is not time for too much talk. Bye. The millennium. God enough. Let me go and keep my wonderful. Heavy back. Heavy back. Uh, Millennium. Rejoice! 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 Rejoice. <laughs> hey. Hey. You go. see? They are back. Hey! Rejoice! Mama, you are, Mama, I've given you permission to. Rejoice. You can pass the night anywhere you want. Rejoice. Come before me. Come after midnight. You see the result? The result, the result is this. Hey, she came back late today. Look at, Rejoice! look at the result. Rejoice! Yeah, yes, no more. Hey! Mama! I will rejoice with you. Hey, honey boy! Um, if you don't want to come inside the room, you can pass the night here, you can sleep here. Yes, sir. Hey! Rejoice! Rejoice! You are looking at me as if you are not understanding my question. Why are you planning to destroy my daughter? Very good. If you want to pursue a career in drinking, why do you want to involve my daughter? I have good news. Good news that will dilute your confusion. <laughs> I I know you are angry because of the two failed suitors. You don't have to walk yourself up. <laughs> The red man has come. He has come to marry my daughter the way no man has married a woman before. And most importantly, she has accepted. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, that Sandra has accepted to marry a man I have not seen? Uh, huh? Who is he and what does he do for her living? Man with a big heart. <laughs> you know what? He calls her baby. <laughs> All you know about this suitor is that he calls our daughter baby. Is it? Is that all? Oh, the man is he? That man is ready to build one duplex for us. <laughs> Since you married me, you call me baby and then this. Okay, okay, baby? wait, wait. If I call you baby, <laughs> will you stop misbehaving? Call me baby and okay. baby. <laughs> baby. And then baby. Okay, now, uh, mm. You know I like hanging out with women that can drink very well. But the talent of this year will be more than long. Wow. Ha! Ever since I started dating and hanging out with women, I have never seen anyone that can drink as profusely as her. Man, guy, guy, see that woman. Eh? That woman is very conclusive that that woman is a drunk. Ah, ah. You see, 
that the woman does the booziest day. She was just shacking up, drinking at her age. Okay, fine. She was excited, you know, because of you know the kind of boys who come with her. <laughs> yeah, have to now, one marry her people. But then now, uh, uh, at that age, <laughs> shark took plenty now. But you know what? Let's forget you, man. Forget that for now. Let's. How do we go tomorrow? How do we go tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What kind of stupid question is that? How do we go tomorrow? How do we go tomorrow? What's that? That's very stupid now. How do we go tomorrow? What, what did we come here for? What thing we come here for? Isn't it to marry the girl straight away? Eh? See the girl marry her. So what are you talking about now? Guy, you know me now. We are going to start from where we stopped. That's what we're going to do. Yes, I know. You get me wrong. I know we are going to start from where we stopped. But we need to define our strategy. Strategy. We need to see the woman's husband. Why? He is the one that is giving out the doctor. He is the one that will give us dates. So let us cut down on trying to impress Madame Good. We will try the other angle now. I see him. So what are you talking about now? Good. What I'm saying is that I have this feeling that Madame Good might not be able to do anything meaningful. From the look of things, I suspect she is not at peace with the husband. So as we don't try this side, no, no, we'll share our shoe the other side. Mm. Mom, have you noticed that nobody comes to our shop anymore to drink or eat? What is the meaning of that? I Me, mean, I don't understand it myself too. Well, from the rumors I hear, they say that everybody is scared of your presence. That's why they are all running away. They are not going to my inquiry shop to go and be eating and be drinking. That's what I heard, Sha. I beg your pardon. That my presence scares people from my shop, my own shop. Are you not being stupid, Sandra? Okay, sorry, oh mama. Sorry, please. But you can't agree with me less. I mean, is it not better that you go back to Oka and stay with Brother Peter and his wife? And let me and Mama Eko run this place like we always used to. And make Listen to me, Sandra. Listen. Your marriage is coming up in a couple of weeks. You should occupy your mind with that. <laughs> and not how to run my shop for me. <laughs> me? I'm getting married. Of course. To who? I will not get married to anybody. No, no. Baby. Listen to me. You can never know the men very well. One single man, you can never know him well enough. You know men, they are inconsistent. They keep changing, changing. Every day they bring out new changes. Mm. We marry them with one eye. You know why? Because they are polygamous in nature. That's the man for you. See, that oil worker has promised me that you must finish your education. So you are going to marry him. Have you ever asked yourself why he calls you baby? <laughs> How you are going to finish that man? He will papa you. Papa you. I don't like him, Mama. I don't. I mean, for me, first impression matters. And the first impression I got of that man is not good. I don't like it. I mean, didn't you see when he was sniffing? But that was mental now. Uh, is anything wrong with Haley mental? Ordinary mental? Mama, I doubt if that was uh, mental he was sniffing. I have a strong feeling he's into drugs. Is, is that not the more reason we should marry him fast? Ask yourself. Drug money, ego combined with oil money, ego money. Drug money, oil money. That will give you millennium lady of the world. I will no longer be the millennium lady of ordinary Africa, but of the world. <laughs> Mama, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. I mean, why, don't, why, why are you failing to understand my point? Why, why are you failing to understand that this, your smart guy is not a genuine man? I mean, Mama, seriously, everything is not about money. There's some things you should put aside when you, you want to talk about money. What, what do you want to do with genuity? Eh? Will you eat it? You got that genuity, no? Will you eat it? Is that not the same genuity your father was carrying when he came to lure me? 
an innocent girl. And because I, I was a naive girl from the village, he was wearing awkward colored coats. I never knew that multicolored coats are useless. Is that not the same genuinity? No, genuinity is useless. What am I doing with it? My dear. See, don't concern yourself with anything to do with genuinity. Forget that one. You know what you will do? Concentrate on marrying a man because of your future. A man who will take you round the world. You'll be flying round the world. You will no longer be. Your mother is a in a gaga. You now become why in FFA? You see? You have graduated from Igaga to Ifefe. <laughs> Oye money. Oye money. Egon Manu. Plus Egon to Afifia. <laughs> Combine together. If you miss it, if you miss it, I will not forgive you. You think I still want to be uh, uh, Lady of Africa? I want to fly now. Eh? When my daughter is flying, I'll be flying with her. <laughs> Hi, God, I thank you for giving me this girl. Fine girl. That's someone. Eh? My investment. <laughs> you cannot be fair. I'll be fair. I told you. I am always on the move. That is why my, my brain is very fast. Thinking things that are important. I'm not like your father who will sit at a place. He does not think about anything. You know what? I want you to get into that place, VIP section. Go and ask them if they need anything. Yeah? Be a good girl. Millennium baby. Dinner perfect. Me, Madam Cole, people are scared to come to my shop. I'm just resting. When I need them, they will come by force. <laughs> by fire, by force. <laughs> Baba, listen, Baba. You have spent the better part of this evening ranting, shouting, and you know, raising your voice. And it's not good enough for a man your age. You know that. I know you have not forgotten what the doctor said. Could you please, Papa, calm down? Just get yourself together and tell me what the matter is. The young man that was coming for your sister's hand in marriage is no longer coming. Your mother told him off. And the doctor felt insulted. Now, here he has gone to marry another girl. Oh, come on, Papa, wait a minute. Oh, that Martins has gone on to marry another woman. Is that why you are boiling? It's not enough to make now, him boil. Calm down and listen. Your mother has gone ahead to arrange for another man to marry my daughter. And all she knows about this man is that he is a big man with a big heart and a. Uh, uh, he, he calls my daughter a baby. Oh. Is that not mad? No, 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 wait, wait. But, oh, because they call your daughter baby. I mean, it's not enough to make you feel. Uh, it's a modern thing. That's the modern trend. Mm. But the one I am trying to see whether I can fathom is this idea of big man with big heart and all that. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. Let's go and find your mother. I don't know why a woman of her status. Cannot use her head. Wait, wait, just wait, wait, yeah. So, are you telling me that she has not told you what the said man does for a living? I bet she does not even know. Uh, she came back that night and was praying me with money like an idiot. Oh. Yes, whenever your mother sees money, she goes gaga. That's her. I saw you've been inside. Oh, yeah. All he does is for huh. This word for licking is so foreign to me. Oh. Hey boy, this word for licking is so foreign to me. Oh. I'm not familiar with the word. The only thing you are good at is grammar. You are a champion. You know how to speak grammar. But I know I have not been for licking with my mother. The only problem I have with you is that you are not just being objective. An Anne boy. Did you say Anne boy? I should have called him Anne Gear. I should have told him that. Anne Gear. Hey, listen, if I hear if Anne boy, listen, if you dare say anything again here, yeah, I will just make sure I bond you and put you in a cell. Look at your hair. You need to go and visit. You need to visit the Baba. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Oh, yes. But Papa should not say that our mother 
the one and only millennium lady of Africa overall. The only woman on the move does not know what Mr. Smart does for a living. Better think about it. That's an insult. Huh? What people will say is that my man has not told him what the man does for a living. I know she has not. And I know she will definitely tell Papa when the time comes. Just relax. We are working it out. Just wait. Uh, it appears he knows the man very well. Uh, could you please tell us what the same man does for you? You do not call him a man, no. To me, not ordinary. Okay. We are talking about an international guy that works in oil company. A today guy. Peter, that's the kind of man we need around you. Not medical doctors who go about town with their stethoscope looking for him to give injection. Just, just hold on. Did he tell you that he works in an oil company? Did he tell you that? Just stay here till tomorrow. I'm seeing you one on one. Huh? The man is coming tomorrow. You have the opportunity to interact with him. You get to know the kind of person he is. Do not rush back to Aka, as you always do. I didn't know when I took a save. I'm not going to do it. You come to, 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 to a house. You spend only two hours. Jam! You're off to Aka. The result. <clears throat> You think you can deceive us with this year, year suit? What am I even talking about? This is not even a suit. This is a coat. The kind of coat you wore during the colonial mask. Peter, you are my brother. My elder brother. For that matter, just tell me the truth. Did you pick this coat from the museum? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because it looks exactly like the Fabalawazo. Oh, God. Huh? Come here in the suit. Look at the even nonsense style. Look, 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 look at what titles he's turning in. What see, nonsense is this? See what, see what I was telling you. He's becoming a psychiatric case. So. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Papa, let's just leave titles. Let, let us leave titles. See what move. I think I, I will have to stay back and see this man. All I need is just to pick my phone, call my wife, tell her I won't be coming over tonight. No problem. I will see, I will see this man. I am go. I am happy. I'm happy. Yeah. See, hey, I had always told God that I want a man with solid foundation to marry my daughter. And God has answered my prayer. <laughs> see, Madam Boo, you've not seen anything yet. Hey! I say you've not seen anything yet. You see, Sandra Mai is here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take her to the United States. Yes. I swear her kind of does. And as for you, Transform you into a sleek, sophisticated society lady. Society lady? Of course. Society lady? Yes, that's what I'm You know what that means? That means a cow. Are you telling us that you're going to buy me a car? A car? <laughs> you don't need a car. I'm going to get you a customized, pimped jeep. Hey! 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 Smart, smart. Uh, yes, I'm smart. Eh, he is Titus, my beloved son. Oh, 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 one minute. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I thought you. Yeah. Oh, before you leave, where we see her. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. A minute, please. All right, all right. Take your time. Yeah. Get together with her. I'm not joking. Listen, we need to go to the stations. Listen, you know where your kind fits? LA. Mama, 
You can suit my mission to honor the daughter of the Northern Governor and say that everybody must be flying to China. I want you to tell me now if you have told him that I fly only for scars. Is that why you called me out? Uh -huh. Hey, Titus. I'm not talking about the dead. Because I'm not dead. Uh -huh. hey, I'm we need to understand that sense. As you see me here, I need to be sent to attack. So when you're giving him the love idea, all I want you to do is to let the thing go. That's all. Ty, do you know that as at yesterday, your sister has not fully accepted the man? She has not. Eh? Although I know she will still marry him. Eh? For now, let us talk about the marriage protocol. Then we can talk about the other things later. Oh? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> He's not afraid though. He's not afraid though. He's a moving guy. He better not be afraid. No, he not. better not be afraid because if I must fly to China, Mama, you must be first class or nothing else. First class? Uh huh. Go to China first before you begin to talk about Millennium. <laughs> Millennium. You are there. Peter, I really don't know why you're asking me these questions, really. Oh, come on, smart. You don't have to misunderstand me. We are talking about my sister and only sister at that, you know, so I am just trying to know you better. I understand you stay in Lagos. Yes, I do. Good. Which part of Lagos you stay in? Um, what I'm about to tell you right now, um, I want you to keep it to yourself, okay? Uh, man to man, all right? All right. I don't really want your mother concluding that I'm a very extravagant person. Come on, save yourself the stress, eh? Talk like a man and I will understand you. Okay then, um, well I, I have a house in VGC, in Lagos, um, but you see the house is it's just not necessarily too big, you know, and my job as an oil engineer entails me being offshore all the time, you know, so when I get back home, I don't like being lonely in that big house, so I lodge into a hotel you know, where there's better scenery and I see people, you know, you know I've done this for years really. Which I don't want your mother to hear. No, I said leave my mother out of this. Okay, um, okay if you get married to my sister, how yes. do you intend to combine it with your work? Oh, that, that, that's already sorted. Uh, you see, I'll take my accumulated leave, which uh, is from 10 to 12 months, and you know, fly Sandra to my house in Washington, D.C., in the United States, and you know, we'll live there. Oh my god, this sounds interesting. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you, which of the oil companies do you work in? Is it Chevron, Shell, Texaco, Mobile, uh, well, Aji? Well, well, the truth of the matter is, um, you see, um, I'm a freelance oil engineer. So I work on contracts with these companies you mentioned. In fact, you know, they'll be useless without my expertise, really. Mm -hmm. But that is not the point of contention. The point of contention here is you should talk to your Smoothing things out with him. You should stop being difficult and skeptical. Huh? If I marry Sandra, everybody will be happy. Seriously. Smart, let me tell you something. My old man is not being skeptical, like you say. He's just trying to be very, very careful. He's learned, you know, that, of course. Uh, so we are talking about her only daughter. Sandra is the only lady in the house. So he's just trying to be too sure of who she's going to hand uh, his daughter to. So what do we do? I've had you. Um, just give us some time, then we'll get back to you. That's the way it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hello. Mama, I'm a bit worried though. Are you sure Peter, Baba, would allow Sandra Marie? Mm -hmm. You don't have the choice. Huh? If they refuse to do what is wise, I will do the wise thing without them. I, I cannot say I understand what you mean by doing the wise thing. But whichever way, I'm in full support. Because I know the one and only million leader of Africa does not make mistakes. And you're always on the move. Then I got it. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, Well, I think uh, we have to start.
start thinking big. Okay. If you want to be a millionaire, are you thinking like a millionaire? Uh, 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 I think uh, I wouldn't want you to go to China again. What are you planning again? I've already called some guys in China that I'm coming over. No, forget China. Huh? Start thinking big, like a big boy. Yes. Eh? Think ocean, think sea. You better go. No, no. <laughs> I will tell him to teach you how to make oil money. Mm -hmm. Take you offshore mm -hmm. and teach you how to make oil money, uh -huh. cool money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want oil money, but I don't want oil employment at all. I don't want to go offshore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get clothes at all. Mama, haven't you heard of oil explosion? I don't want any part of my body to be missing suddenly. Mm -hmm. Moreover, I'm still planning that unfinished business I have with the Northern Governor. Next big business. Huh? So let him go to offshore. Why I remain onshore and wait for the money? How about that? As you can see, there's sense in what I'm saying. Millennium. Millennium, millennium. <laughs> and then I gaga. It is already late, and I know that we all need some rest. This meeting is at my instance, so that we'll trash out this very matter. Um. I have seen this man that you are talking about and I have interacted with him. Honestly, I have not been able to really, really get the picture he's trying to paint of himself. So what I suggest, this is my own personal and humble suggestion, is that we study him further. Study him as what? Are you studying him as his book or something? Oh, are you saying Sandra should be married to a man we do not know? But she already knows him. I know him. That does here can even vouch for the man. Uh, Mama, like, you don't have to say I can vouch for you. I'm already vouching for the man. The man is credible and competent. And the millennial lady of Africa has scanned him. I have no doubt in my mind that Sandra will be very, very happy with this man. Don't mind them. Yes. Don't even bother your dumb. Uh, okay, 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 Baba, excuse me. Uh, Sandra, you know this man. And it's you that we're talking about. Your life and everything. Honestly, we are not in the right capacity to say who marries you. I mean, it's your wife we're talking about here. So, um, do you want to marry this man? Excuse me. I just pretend they told you that he is a psychiatric case. Jesus Christ. Anything that goes up must surely come before you. Anything that goes up must surely come before you. Anything that goes up must surely come before you. Anything that goes up must surely come before
Negative, but I don't like this idea at all. I don't like it. What do you mean by that? You don't like this idea? Eh? You know very well I promised my mother in law a jeep. You want her to now see me as a man of empty promises? I'm not saying she should not buy her a jeep, but not that one. Why don't you buy her another jeep? Come on, you know the history of that jeep. Yes, I know the history. That's why I'm sending it to up country. <laughs> see, sometimes I don't see you act like the lot of rings I take. Hey, 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 guy. I'm gonna forget what you're doing. Don't forget I'm the boss here. Don't forget that. Okay. Shut up. We've got to just get down. I thought so. Shh. Ah. I've been shy, shy, woman. Eh? Shy, 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 woman. Mama, a cook. Hey! See, I'm in the mood. Shh. Eh? Show me more dreams. Mommy, it's an animal. You have come to congratulate me because mm. of uh, Sandra's achievements, isn't it? Mm. My sister, oh. hmm. Hmm. it's no joke. Hey, madam, why in mm. <laughs> Well, very soon, I will graduate from uh, the Millennium Lady to, uh, of Africa to Millennium Lady of the Universe. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, and uh, all the women folk will be just manipulating for me. Mm. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> because one thing is this mm. I am one woman that knows where she's going and how to get there. Mm. Is it someone told me that your in law uh, will take Sandra to America? You know, but don't you go now, but don't smash. Not only Sandra, Sandra. Not only Sandra. Okay. I am also going. Hey. Hey, now. Mm. You know. After elementary one, you did elementary two. Mm -hmm. eh? I used to be one in Now I am going to graduate to, to my NFFM. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. So, if you are interested, you just start warming up to buy this place. 
I want to leave the shores of this God-forsaking environment to the United States of America. So upon all the money you have made from your in law you still want to sell this place to me? What do you mean by that? What do you expect? That I should dash you this place? Dash you the whole of this place? Who do you think you are? Why? Well, I don't say I'm anybody, you. But of course, you know who I am now. Your personal person. My man call me Tieti now. Why you? No, no, no. You know, somebody. You know. See, there must be compensation for loyalty. Hmm. That she made this place will be the best way to compensate me for standing by you in everything that you have done in the past, whether good or bad. What bad thing have I ever done? Eh? You see it? You gossip. You have not done anything for me. You only pass gossip around. You come and tell me, they said, and you go and tell them, I said. That's the only thing you do. See, if you ever see me dash you this place on a platter of gold without receiving any money from you, then you must be dreaming. Eh? Just go back to bed and sleep again and wake up well. Yeah. Yes, then you know it's morning. So, I am dreaming, eh? Okay. Of course mm. you are. I'm awake now. How much do you want me to bring? Huh? <laughs> if I tell you how much, you will just run. Hmm? You will run. You say how much you can afford. Let me hear. Madam G, you underestimate me. Anyway, let me check my, my big bank. Hey, I have 200,000. Big money, big time. You're not serious. Hmm? You are not serious. This whole place. Mm -hmm. You know how many customers I have and the caliber of customers that I have. Eh? Do you know how much I make here on daily basis? It's just because I'm fed up with the environment. That's why I want to leave and sell this place. Anyway, <coughs> for your sake, mm -hmm. go look for two million naira. Two million? I mean, that's too much now. I mean, then look for somewhere else. Ha. I'll sell it to somebody else. I have this, this network that has been disturbing me. You know? Maybe by tomorrow morning, I have to, I uh, you know, do something, you know? I will do something, you know? Maybe I'll get 500 dollars. Out of the way, I'll give it to you. Mommy, okay. Hey, hey! Mm -hmm. So you have this new network, eh? Then tap into it. Tap into that your new network. I'll be waiting for you in my house tomorrow morning. I won't come in, eh? Just bring the five hundred thousand. Bring it at home. And this place will be yours. So it's still now. You will step into my for my shoes. Eh? While I fly, you will be. I have not come to blame you for anything. But I think you overreacted. How would a man refuse to listen to his brother? Why? What did you expect me to do? To close my eyes when things are going wrong? You know you are the only one seeing all these wrongs. Your daughter is happy with her husband. And your in law is benevolent to, to us. Didn't you see the, the wristwatch he gave to me? You see? And then, uh, calm down for your stand and give them your blessing. How would I give given her my blessing? I already did. The only thing is that my heart has not accepted that man. Well, it's natural. <laughs> Are you asking me? Ask them. Madam Good, who is the owner of this car? Eh? 
Who is your other person? This guy. Have you ever bought a car in your life? Ask him. <laughs> is this supposed to be an insult or what? Uh, are you not happy that's me? Millennium lady. The moving lady has come to wipe the ugly face of your family. Eh? Look at him. Are you not a proud owner of a Swiss wristwatch now? Mm -hmm. Because of my in-law. <laughs> millennium. My millennium in-law. Yes, sir. Moving man. Mm. <laughs> Are you not going to stop her? Are you not going to stop her? <laughs> what, 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 Are you not going to stop your wife? Okay, Kuka DK. What is your problem? Ask him. I have come to solve all your problems. One time. Are you still angry with those people that duped you in Makadi? Are you still angry with them? See, I know everybody now. Yes. The commissioner of police. I know him. I can give him orders. He will go to Makadi and arrest those people. Everybody, one time. Is that what you want? <laughs> I mean, I won't, I won't continue with this insult. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, please. What do you want? 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 What to the glory of God. Oh, amazing grace. Hey, that amazing grace. Oh, was that car? The car. Oh, my in-law sent it to me. He went to Japan, ordered it, and sent it down to me specially. He bought a jeep for you. Oh, you are making a mistake. He did not buy. He went to Japan and picked the best engineers and they customized it specially for me. Eh? Alright. Nah. I feel like dancing. You want to dance? Music one time. I have to supply you music. Supply one time. Oh, oh DJ Battles. If any leg, man. DJ Battles in the mix. Up and up and yeah. In the mix. But I want if any no. <laughs> And I give me but a belly, cool my heart. Hey, and I give me but a belly, cool my heart. Hey, one sweat, I did that. Na na, ah 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 ah, na na na, 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 na na na. Drive me around again. Eh? If you won't drive me around, just give me my key. I can drive myself. This key? I'm not giving you this key. And if you want this jeep to leave this place, you must give me all the money. Stealing what? That my money cannot my money can no longer stay in my hand or what? Do you know how much you have just wasted today? Only today. You are just wasting money here and there. When I told you that I have one million and one things to do with money, Mama, I want to go the money. 
Why are you angry with your mother? Eh? I just want to show the world that everything is money. By distributing 1,000 naira notes all over the place, money is everything. Mama, even the leader of all the whole fools, the fools paradise, knows that everything is money. You don't need to distribute money to, to join that. Huh? Is that why you are angry? Uh -huh. Maybe I will not distribute money again. Oh, just let's drive around, let's cruise around. Eh? My in law will sort you out inside out. I'm coming for you. Millennium, the millennium, the millennium. You have to promise to, you have to promise to. Have I ever promised? You know, send me your woman and your daughter, they're happy. All you care about is how to get the money. Millennium, 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 millennium. When you want my money, never make get your money. Kakuli taba, eti kasiba, eti kasiba. Yamuli taba, all that glitter has its own code. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you break. What's the issue? Omeko, what's the meaning of this? I thought you said Omeko is managing this place on commission. Why the description on the board now? <laughs> Think international. Titus. Move on with me. Eh? I'm going to move on with Gaga. You see, I'm not going to move I am traveling abroad. What am I doing with this godforsaken place? I sold it to her. And in fact, the money is what we have been spending all this time. <laughs> Mama? Uh, you sold this shop. <laughs> Why are you selling everything? No, 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 no. I'm not selling everything. I'm only selling junks. <laughs> I'm only selling things that we wouldn't need if we come back. By the time I come back to this town, after many years old, I'll start building mansions. Not this time. Eh? Huh? <laughs> Mameko! I have arrived! This woman is becoming a collection. Hey! I can see! Hey! <laughs> I see you have uh, yes, it is there. replaced the designs. Yes! <laughs> Future American Queen! <laughs> How are you enjoying this place? Yes. All my customers. Yes. Yeah. Important personalities. My God. Yes. And thank you. 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 How many months will, will it take you to find those that committed the crime? Well, sorry sir, we were still working. We were not resting, we are doing our best sir. You can see that you are good, your best is not good enough. Huh? Where are the criminals? Sir, we're getting closer and closer. Actually, there's a forensic report that has linked us to a house and uh, we are planning on carrying out a raid on that house sir. We are going to carry out a raid in that house. Look, Zaki, I give you people one more week to give me something positive. Yes, or I'll be forced to reassign the matter to another team. And you people should not give me the impression that you cannot perform. You've done something like this before, even something bigger than this. I'm well, sorry, sir. We'll deliver this time, sir. You better do. Um, get me Sergeant Okon.
Everybody around me to be happy. Yes. yes. Is anybody squeezing face? No. <laughs> you remember I told you that uh, my daughter is going to get married. Yes. yes. Um, so I just want to remind you of Easter Monday. Hey. Hey. Easter Monday. That is the day. Hey. Everybody is highly invited. Yes. Yes. Mameko, mm -hmm. if I look for you and I don't see you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, nothing gonna happen. No, no shaking! <laughs> so, the great occasion is for Easter Monday. Yes. And I trust you, yes. everybody will be there. Yes. Tell them in town to come yes. to the wonderful marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One in town. Yes. Home. I need to be in a home. Darling, you don't like this hotel room? Okay, fine. Listen, but I tell you, this is one of the best hotels in this area. Believe you me. But if you don't like this room, no problem, okay? No problem. We we'll just, you know, yes, smart. check out and go somewhere smart. else. Smart, listen to me. I'm not talking about living in the luxury of a hotel room. I want a proper home. A home where I have a kitchen to cook for my husband. A home where I can build up my family. The hotel. Relax. Okay, relax. Listen, you're going to wait until after the traditional wedding, then I'll fly you straight to my house in Washington, D.C., which boasts of the best kitchen in the whole of D.C., okay? And there, you can cook any and every dish you've learned from your mom for yourself and your darling husband and we'll feast on that. Huh? Why don't you say that you have a house in VGC? Why don't you move in there before you want to take me to Washington DC? Yes. Yeah. Um the, 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 the problem is um you see you see my house in VGC is just too big. It's too big. Necessarily, I didn't tell you this, but it's the truth. It's just too big. I gave, you know, money to some Arabian contractors, and what did they do? They just built me some big mansion. Huh? I told them, listen, I want a house that is powerful. I don't know if it's because of the word powerful. They built me a big mansion. Can you imagine a 13 bedroom mansion hmm? only for myself and my beautiful wife to live in? Come on, it's too much. And as I speak with you right now, I'm making plans to sell off the house. Yes. Okay, so you have to chill, relax. After the traditional wedding, okay, I'll fly into DC and then you and I can be in the best kitchen in the whole of the world. We're talking about the whole of America, okay? Well, now tell me you love me. What you are saying now is what I saw the moment that young man entered here. There is nothing about him that suggests a responsible man working in an oil company. Papa, listen, let me tell you. This is no time to begin to apportion blames. It's done, it's done. The deed has been done. So let us think of a way forward. Honestly. I have decided to leave everything to fate. 
Your mother says she knows everything she's doing. And I want subsequent developments to judge us. Oh, but you are still angry with Mama? Are you still angry? I thought we agreed that we should forgive uh, one another of every wrongdoing and move ahead. Papa, let me tell you, we don't have any other family. This is our family. I am not angry, but I am very bitter. I cannot imagine why a woman I married with my hard-earned money should insult me each passing day. Wait. So Mama has started to insult you again? Has she ever stopped? Could you imagine the embarrassment she, 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 she gave me yesterday? Uh, I forgot that uh, I have to meet with the king and the other cabinet members. I remembered 30 minutes to the fifth time. And I called Titus to use the jeep to drop me at the meeting venue. But your mother said over her dead body. Initially I thought she was uh, joking. But then I discovered that she was serious. Did she give you any reason? Uh, that the jeep is a personal property and that I should, I should keep away from it. In fact, I blame myself for wanting to use the jeep in the first place. And my son, I have decided to keep away from it. This is... This is the height of it, honestly. I want you to go to my house, eh? Remove all the raw materials with it there. Eh? Even all those extra compounds with the kids from the wedding and my bed. I bet cut everything. What raw materials come out everything? Why anything? Eh, my wife is coming. My wife is tired of hotel life. Eh, and she's coming in. She said she's tired of hotel life. She wants to come to a proper house. So I'm moving high to my house. Oh, you know there are plenty of them, so where do you move them to? Oh. Man, guy, I know they ask me this okay, guy. Okay, okay, okay. Just move everything. For all, please. What is the matter with you? See the way you're calling me, mom, 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 as if you're still in the kindergarten. My love, my mom. What is wrong with you, sir? Eh? Me. I have told you. Call me Millennium Lady. Wanya Gaga. The happening lady. That's what you should call me. Why are you running away from me? I hope that's not the reason you came back from Oka. To be having secret meetings with your father about my my, my beautiful in-law. Eh? My in-law that has come to clean the ugly face of your family. I hope you're not trying to change the topic. Okay, let me ask you. Why have you chosen to be certain daddy? Why? Okay, did you tell him or did you not order him not to get close to that jeep? Did you or did you not? Of course you know what I can do. I did. Are you surprised? You expect me to allow bad luck to enter into that jeep that is good luck? It's not possible. Eh? Okay. Look, look, look at as if you don't know that your father is a physical bundle of bad luck. <laughs> Mom, let me tell you something. You know, let me tell you something. What do you know further on? You know, let me tell you something. Do you know, do you know it's possible that this your so-called smart is a time bomb? Waiting to explode. Do you know that? Come. I won't have you insult my in-law. Insulting him means insulting me. And don't go there. Anyway, go back to Oka. Go and invite all your friends. Tell them to come to the Millennium Ibangu. Ibangu of the Millennium. Eh? See, rice, beans, chicken, pepper soup, salad. Very plenty. Surplus. Even buffet. Millennium buffet. <laughs> Very surplus. My in-law has ordered government cool, cooling vans. Every, see, Ogadiebu. Eh? Everything will be happening there. If a Ghanaian, if a Nine, Ghanaian, eh? So don't miss out, my dear. Go ahead, I call them. One thing I want to tell you is that this 
wedding. This millennial wedding. Eh? Allah ga wandi ala. Millennial lady wami na gaga. Anyway money there na there you the go one day this money go put you for a hollow. You know, send if your husband or your daughter they happy. All you care about is how to get the money. Anything them say to you na rubbish. How them they feel to you mean nothing. Maka ibu wani na gaga. When you want my penny, let me make. Get your money. Kakule taba, keti kasiba, kangule taba. All that glitter is not gold. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful. Be mother of Mr. and Mrs. Johnson at the party. You have a right to remain silent. But whatever you say in here may be used against you in the court of law. Sit down!
I am not enjoying this show you put up with those women. Do you know I have not gained anything so far? All I get from you is empty promises. Mama, I'm not seeing anything. Why are you always complaining like your father? Why? Eh? See, my in-law has even planned to take you with us. You are traveling with us. Do you think I will ever leave you here? God forbid. You are the only one that reasons like me. Don't worry. Very soon I'll become a neighbor to the President of America. And you will also be there with me. <laughs> now look, let me tell you. There is nothing smart in that you are smart. That man cannot promise me American visa. Come on, American visa. He cannot promise me. Huh? He has not collected my passport. As I speak to you right now, my passport is still in my bag. Mama, let me ask you. Are we traveling with Ken? Ken? Okay. Think big now. Eh? Titus, think big. If you want to be a millionaire, you think like a millionaire. I have told you this before. Eh? How can you talk about Kenny? Mama, I'm trying to think big. But the more I try, the more I see nothing. That's my problem. Okay, let us leave this talk for now. Eh? Very soon, you will join the men on the move. Not, not very soon, though. No. Not very soon, Mama. Because I'm moving back to the north this night. I'm taking my job. Let me go and continue the unfinished business I have with the Northern government. <laughs> y y yesterday, it was China. Today, America. Maybe tomorrow, New Zealand, or even heaven, or Meku. Mm. Do you have a problem with Madame Gold? <laughs> oh, Mama, see. Why do you ask? Because you are beginning to sound as if you are now seeing what I saw many years ago. <laughs> you know, Madame Gold is bad influence, and that's why I always avoid her. See, I am going to sort her out this time. What do you mean by sort her out? Yeah. I may not agree with you. That she's a bad influence. But I can tell you emphatically that she is wicked. She will never show anybody where the real thing happens. But I will hit her below the belt. Moniko, you're sounding strange. What are you saying? I agree with her to acquire some powers. Power, yes! Power to make men humble. Power to get what we want. Power to operate smoothly. She took me a whole woman donated eh? to some useless place to effect a, a fake place and gave me a useless power. A power that does not work. Then she took herself to another place where she got a hot power. Everything works for her. If you go to a restaurant, hey, you see muscles of men, men of caliber, patronizing her. Oh, okay. Mameko, are you telling me that, that you have been doing charms? Charms. You said charms. Charms, you're the one saying chance. I said, I said, power, not chance. Huh? Anyway, let's close the talk. If you don't know the difference between uh, chance and power. I told her my dad is a retired police officer. Her countenance towards me suddenly changed and she treats me like an outcast. I don't know. I don't know. Why, why, why? Honey, why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Eh? Listen, let me tell you something. My mother is not allergic to police officers. Besides, her immediate younger sister is a police officer. So I don't see any reason why she should. I mean, that is not the issue. The issue is not the profession. I have this kind of belief that maybe she wanted you to get married to a rich woman from a rich background. Or... Oh, honey, 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 listen, honey, honey, stop. listen, stop, just stop. Let me tell you something. You are married to me and not to my mother. So whatever that happens, you should always look up to me and not to her. Besides, together, both of us can make this family great. It depends on how we want to make it. So please, think less about my mother and think more about me. Did you understand that? <laughs> I said. I 
this night. I want you to tell me the truth. That's what I demand from you, the truth. Because if you don't tell me the truth, I could do things to you you never imagined can happen to you. I can be very serious to you. Know? Now tell me the truth. That's all I ask of you. I'm, I, I'm doing everything. I, I don't know anything. You don't know anything? I see. Speaking of cooking, I know you have lots of delicacies to put <laughs> Of course I do. Mm. You know my mom owns a restaurant. I know. That's why I learned a lot of my cooking from her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Yeah. You haven't really told me your relationship with Hyacinth. He's my friend. What are you talking about? Mm, I was thinking maybe he was your houseboy or your PA. Yeah, because I mean the way he sent me an errand every time I just Okay, on the other hand, I was now saying that, okay, if it's not one of those, then he's actually your cool oil worker for the junior staff. Hey, you just got the answer. Yeah, who is it? It's service, sir. service. Did you order anything? No, we didn't order nothing. So what do you want? There is a leakage in your toilet. I want to fix it up immediately. It's disturbing the guest down floor. Are you serious? <sighs> Hold on. What? You are under arrest for the murder of Mr. and Mrs. Johnson and their five children. Hey! What's the meaning of that one? I'm seeing the old interest. You better come on your own from your man. What, what are you talking about? This is embarrassing. We're in the movies. Shut up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about?
calm down, eh? I can handle it. It's not that I cannot handle. Just take it easy. Peter, I am going to handle this. This has constant insult will end today. But just if you let me, let, let this be the very last time, man. In one single sentence. And then, can you tell me why you're just shouting? Why are you shouting? Good. Oh God, if man. you have anything that you consider to be yours in this house, go now and pack that thing out. Because if you go out today, you are not coming back to this My house. Zoom, <laughs> I know that you had been the leader of one disbanded, retired uh, band. Eh? I, I know you have a, a music experience. Mm -hmm. Sing on, sing, sing, sing. Mama, why are you talking about this? Shut up! No, you should not ask what to enjoy. Please, this is Papa, you're fucking. What's all this? Shut your mouth up and go back to Oka. And continue to share your stupid wife with all those dirty politicians. Why should he say he will sack me? Sack me from where? Wife. From a house I built? God. Eh? Did you build this house? The one you built has been destroyed. I renovated this house with my money. The house you built had no name, no street number, nothing, nothing. But this one, amazing grace. I renovated it with my money. Had and plenty of money for that matter. Can't you just calm down and sort this out, please? Huh? I'm sure you are the messenger my son-in-law sent to come and arrange for the great thing, the great occasion. I believe your Madam Go that we are looking for. Oh, you see what I told you? I told you that my son-in-law is a rich man. Can you imagine the caliber of messenger he sent? Look at the people he's using. Nah, give me the message. I'm sorry, madam, I'm not a messenger from your so-called son-in-law. Then you have to behave yourself. So if you're not a messenger from my son-in-law, who are you? Who are you to, to, to ask me to, to, to come and stop me from talking? Excuse me, sir. Are you the owner of this jeep? Me? No, I don't know anything about the jeep. I have never, never, ever owned a jeep. How can you even ask him if he's the owner of this jeep? Does he in any way, does anything in him show you that he can own a jeep? Mama, please. What? what? Hey, hey, hey. Sir, excuse me, sir. If you're not the owner of this jeep, then uh, who owns it? I am the proud owner of this jeep. Not only the proud owner. This jeep is customized and arranged especially for me. The lady on the moon. Millennium lady. Well, I can afford to give you a lift in this jeep to the hotel. Yeah, and then <laughs> but you know what? I don't know how to drive well. Smart. Sandra. Sandra? Smart. Eh, uh, police. I don't know what they would have done, but please. Uh, don't be angry. Just come, let us uh, let, let us give you some bribe here. You release them. Eh? This man. Shut up, woman. Listen, you're under arrest for criminal connivance. You have the right to remain silent. No, now. That is not possible. Me, Millennium Lady, keep silent. You don't have to try to say it. See, this man works with oil company. He said, no matter what he has done. He's an oil worker. Oil worker, my foot. Listen, this man here is a killer. He murdered Mr. Johnson, the owner of this jeep, along with five members of his family. I don't know. I don't Hey! Killed? Hey! So they bought your shit? I. I didn't know you were a criminal or smart. They couldn't mind your beacon. And madam. You have to remain silent. But whatever you say here may be used against you in the court of law. No, oh, she's a lady on the move. There's nothing you can do. I need my guys again. Let me go. Sonny, Bonyo, pick up your bag. Let's go. Hey, Chineke. Hey, whoa. Bring her here. Bring her here. I should have allowed the quiet, madam. If I had known you are not Bring her here. I would have asked the medical doctor to marry my daughter now. My daughter. Peter. I should have allowed the medical doctor to marry you now. And you go to Madam, I see what. Move it. Move it. I don't think I can't be kind of my dad. I don't leave me. I don't Don't leave me. Don't leave me.
body wine in a gaga. Anywhere money, then I tell you the go one day. This money go put you for a hollow. You know, send if your husband or your daughter they happy. All you care about now how to get the money. Anything them say to you na rubbish. How then they feel to you mean nothing. Maka ibu wanyi na gaga. When you want my penny in the name, get your money. Kakulita ba, keti kasiba, kangulita ba. All that glitter is not gold. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money go to boom kenge bo. All that glitter is not gold. Anything that goes up must surely come down. Be careful before you make your choice. No follow money go to boom kenge bo. Millennial lady, why you not gaga? Anywhere money then I tell you they go one day. This money go put you for a hollow. Millennial lady, why you not gaga? Anywhere money then I tell you they go one day. This money go put you for a hollow.